What is good, you motherfuckers? Hello, G Money. Hello, Kushori. Do I have to show you a clip from yesterday? I can send. I can't send it over Discord, but I promise you, it's fucking gold. Uh can I watch it on stream or no? G Miners, teach me something. What do you want to learn? Let's go to Aaron. Yeah, April 9th is into the light, bro. We'll see. We'll see if it comes out good. You can no audio. Why can't you send over Discord? How are you gonna send it? We doing Galaxy Pools today? Okay, we could, but I need somebody to help me get out of the box. And I I've never gotten out of the box before. So we'll see. I think it's also, or breach box or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh. Alright, go ahead. What is this? Give me context. Okay. Or should I, should I have no context? And, it's it's me, Ian, and Joey farming oh, for okay. Slammer yesterday, right? Okay. And this is just the most, like, ridiculous death I've ever Let seen. Let me pop it out. Do you guys all get, like, joining allies, or...? No, 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 no. Okay. So we're, we're going to the... This is the Taken area at the very start, right? Yeah, oh, okay. So I've been hopping off the Sparrow early to skate into the doorway oh, okay yeah i sounds... skate hit the sparrow and it throws it me straight down into the taken goo no actually you know how i think you died i'm pretty sure you took full health full shields damage and broke it oh i could be wrong maybe you did die to the take damage down there that's how i mean the you sparrow died. is you died still quick. there quick the sparrow is it, still there. i thought it exploded yeah Oh, oh, it's okay. still there. Okay, that's fine. And it puts my ghost straight down in the goo. That's it's funny just, as fuck. Like, that's I've death. never seen that fucking happen. <laughs> that's funny. All right, well, piss, piss. It's peace. so dumb. Yeah, enjoy stream, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That clear... Yeah, yeah, we got acquisition on Fusion. Otherwise, we'd be doing it tonight. g Miners does not respond to YouTube. What does that even mean? I'm reading YouTube chat right now. I can't show you guys that I see it because I, I can't tab OBS over to this PC. But, yeah. Redo it? Fuck no. Fuck no. Yeah, we could do uh, Galaxy Pools. Galaxy Pools is basically... There's a load zone. Um, I think it's EDZ. You spawn in at the sludge. You go, like, right up here. And you you do some weird oob in the dark forest. You, you get outside of, like, the, the normal boundaries. And you can, like, sparrow fly and do some other tech to get to a certain, like, load zone. And it like starts, I think it starts pulling you in towards it, into it. It's very weird. And then you just end up like at the galaxy pools. So, yeah. Galaxy pools isn't fun. You do a sink box and an oob in there and fly into a pool barrier. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah, that's basically it. No, no, you're, you're good. You're good, Aaron. I, I didn't know some people, I think the first five or ten streams on youtube i i struggled a while to get the chat to work so um i didn't know if anybody has only watched like the first couple of streams and then they come back they probably still think i don't respond to youtube strat or youtube chat do you do streams on youtube and twitch at the same time yeah i want to say it's kind of like the meta multi-streaming to be honest dude i see a lot of other d2 youtubers and and uh streamers do it and they don't really like some of their YouTube streams, they get like 10, 30 viewers, something like that. Usually we pull decent numbers on YouTube. So, uh, the ship is Scout Zeppelin. It's good Parm. It's good Riley. I think the sword's worth it. I would definitely get it as an eager edge sword so you can skate with it. Other than that, no. All right. I think we go to the helm. I think we start this shit up. Seven months of a wreck streams. Tweezy, thank you for the seven. G mine bricked. That's a that's a knuck classic emote right there. Knuck original. Multiple ways to do it to be fair. Most people just use strand. Yeah. I mean I can sparrow fly and slip. I don't know how my infinite flying is, but I don't think you need to infa fly because you can resummon. So I can't imagine it'd be like that bad. It just looks it looks like it takes a while. And I'd have to get the 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 what's it called? The breach box set up. And that seems like if I mess it up, it'll be a bitch. Looks like they're bringing back Falling Guillotine or something and Into the Light. Interesting. 
Bring back eager edge times two. Like double eager? So you could swing twice? Or are you saying like two of it on the sword? Took me like 15 out of 20 of vert. It's rough. What do you mean 15 out of 20? Or you did 15 out of your like 20 summons to go high. You can't resummon for the long fly. Oh. Oh. You probably could Lumina Grapple. I just don't know how far you're going to get with it. That's crazy. Crafting the Eager. Oh. Dude, crafting the Eager, you couldn't even control. Um, all right. I don't know if I need to be in the helm for this. I think we just fucking start. And I'm going to clear out my inventory. Please go to the vault. We're going to see what we need and what we don't need. Uh, can I fit everything? I think I can. I can't batch. No, I can't. Your vault's mid. Delete everything. Dude. There's so many weapons that are actually good, though, that I like. There's some that definitely need to go. Alright, we have... Oh, dude, we have 585? Alright, whatever. R rarest thing I have? I have no idea. Genuinely no idea. Um, Maybe, honestly, dude, under, like, unlight... Or no light uh, Traveler's Chosen. Like, maybe? I don't think I have anything that rare. Okay, let's see. Um, exotics? Exotics I can get rid of. Which, to be fair, I probably should. Um, anything that's, like, genuinely bad. And I can just buy it again later. I want to I want to keep this Quicksilver, though. Because that's the kinetic one. Monty's pretty dog shit. Oh, wait. How do I... Is it double tap? Ah, uh, no. It's not. Okay. Virgo's Curve is hot dog shit. Ace I've used for PvP. I haven't used Crimson in forever. This I just used the other day with Riley. No time I think is still good. Revision Zero is craftable, so I'll keep it. Uh, I like having a Vorpal and an Outlaw roll of this. I don't really use Cryothesia. Why do I have two of these? Okay, that's my Demo Frenzy roll. One of these is my crafting roll, which I think is that. Oh, dude. Can you... Does anyone know? Can you pull Idle on Ally? Clean my vault too? Nah, this is going to take forever, Ty. Also, it's good. I'm terrible at vault cleaning. I just hoard shit. Can I, Can you buy this again? Okay. How many kills on Bad Juju? Dude, 1,400 is actually a good amount. That's, that's way more time than I should have spent on that. Um... This isn't kinetic anymore, is it? Does this have Demo Frenzy? I'm never using this. I don't care about the kinetic shit. That's a fucking crazy weapon to even still have. Alright. Let me clean your vault. I'll run that shit dot dry. I need certain things for speeds, though, dude. <clears throat> like, some stuff I keep. I don't know. Going to GCX? Yeah, I'll be going this year. I should be, at least. I'm assuming you're going as well. I feel like we... I'm pretty sure we met at GCX, no? <coughs> Last year. I want to say... We met there. And or... I saw you there. But I feel like we didn't know each other. At that point in time. Also, is... Uh, is Mr. Aki on? Don't ego me this year? No, no, no. That's not even fair. Because you didn't know... You didn't... No, 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 no. You didn't know who I was either. You didn't know who I was and I didn't know who you was. Who... What am I saying? You didn't know who I was and I didn't know who you were. And, uh... Yeah. Higher Dado, easy solution. I don't want to, dude. See, the thing is, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get convinced or pressured into deleting something I genuinely don't want to delete. If somebody helps me. 400 last week. Now I'm down to 200. That's what I need. Uh, Sean's and Mace. Thank you guys for the follows. Trying to get him to go. Nah, if he doesn't show up, I'm, I'm figuring out where he lives in Canada. I'll search the entirety of that nation. <laughs> What the fuck is that? Heating up Rampage. That's pretty dog shit. Oh, dude. This is going to this is gonna make random videos. Like, if we do it again, so much worse. Because I'm just going to have not good stuff. 
Why do I have a kill clip roll, dude? That's a good bow. That's craftable. I actually don't mind that crate, so I'm going to keep it. We're keeping Midnight Coup. We're keeping that because that's my best roll. We're keeping that. This should go. This really should go, but... This needs to fucking go. Dude, the only reason I have this is because I watched like an error video like two years ago. And I'm pretty sure this is an awful hand cannon. Judgment just feels like shit. Um, leave Chroma Rush alone? No, the issue with Chroma Rush, I loved it. The rolls aren't good. Let me let me get D2 Foundry up so we can just like fact check ourselves. I'm pretty sure Chroma Rush has dog shit perks. Yeah. It's not good, dude. It it's a great. I love rapid fire frames, but it's just there's no world I'm using this over anything else. Like auto wise, you have Rufus's Fury, Demo Frenzy, and that's it. Wait, what the fuck are these? Trait locked. You run this shit and you're fine. Six hundred autos. Yeah, I mean I don't know. Autos are autos to me. I tend not to use them typically. Okay, this is a Demo Frenzy Autumn Wind. I think that's a keeper. Is this messenger dog shit? Did you show some of the best weapons you hoard? They ended up being meta. Oh, and they ended up being meta? <clears throat> you know, most of them aren't. So, quick question, am I still subbed? What do you mean, Austin? I mean, if you're subbed on YouTube, I can't really tell. Furious Curve is good for Duo DSC and Solo Bog. Yeah, but I can pull from any any exotic I can I can pull from collections. Autumn Wind is not getting busted out in PvE. Dude, the thing is you never fucking know. What if it's meta next season? This could be dude, I love my Sacred Providence. This is crap. Oh, dude. I do know, bro. It ain't it. Okay, bro. Wait, you're the guy from the podcast? Are you watching, Austin? <laughs> Let me keep it and see what we get down to. Let me keep it and see what... Here's what we'll do. We're going to do a once-over. Anything that screams out as, like, just mega dog shit, we're getting read of. Read, read of. Um. Okay, so what do I have? That's Rapid Hit Frenzy. This is Rapid Hit Subsistence Frenzy. Is this thing good? Still haven't gotten conditional finality? <laughs> Dude, you need to run up run. That's actually a decent weapon. No? Terax, suppose. Why did I join the live and you look so fine? Dude, I need more comments like that. What the fuck, bro? I get shit on way too much people to call me sexy if you got hung jury i think terax ain't worth it that's fair I, I think you're right i grinded for so long for that demo roll demo osmosis okay uh do i need to refresh no i don't this should okay so where the fuck did Taraxipose just go? Did I just delete it? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. So we have ra Rapid Hit Frenzy, which we... Oh, my God. We already have on the Adept roll. And then what is this? Subsistence Explosive. What is what is genuinely good on Hung Jury? I have so many random ass rolls. <sighs> is there Shoot to Loot on this? Did there used to be Shoot to Loot Explosive? Do I have Hella Armor? I do, yeah. I'll show the armor in a sec. I don't think it has shoot to loot anymore. I don't want Firefly. I like explosive. Pay okay, so the explosive payload, on I think I'm keeping because they, they sunset that all out. And then I keep like a rapid hit frenzy or with the sub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, because this has explosive. And I actually think explosive's good. Even though I have this with explosive, this is a 200. This is a 180, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay, this should have been deleted forever ago. Bro, 
Why do I have shit? I can craft that now. What the fuck are these weapons, dude? Oh, Dim's fucking taking a shit right now. Um, all right, here's my armor. Yeah, I have a lot, and I'll clean it up. I usually go through and check rolls, but I also keep a lot more armor pieces, probably than most people for build videos, but I'm I'm getting away from build videos, so we'll see. Uh Demon Aces and Taco Maho Ma Mahaja. Thank you guys for the follows. Messenger I'd keep if I ran kinetic tremors. What is happening? Did is Dim crashing right now? Oh no, it's not. Um Submission's dog shit. One of the worst SMGs in the game. Kidding. multi mock kill clip, do we keep that or no? These are all PvP weapons, by the way. Like some of these. Just delete everything in your vault. So free, bro. What is this for, Helmy? In Dim, go to settings, group vault weapons by type. I do have, I do have, uh, what's it called? I do have that on. I do have certain ways to organize it. No galaxy pools? No. I need somebody to help me uh, do the thing. I mean, we could do it later. I just would need somebody to help me set up the, the breach box. I also would, I didn't have enough time today to look at videos for how to like do it, do it. No, nah, submission. Submission's like top five kinetic weapons in the entire game. Uh, top like two honest it's like honestly i'd say submission is probably the best kinetic legendary primary weapon in the entire game i i don't think there's an argument for something beating it i was just trolling let's get to keep raid armor solely for activity yeah dude it, so that's the other thing raid mod like raid armor that's a big gripe for me too obviously i have some duplicates and shit that i can clean up i have some extra artifice armor i think that i can get rid of too um and like balador scout nerf so i can fucking vault that shit but um they need to fix that because that's that's at least 30 slots or something like that of my vault it's just raid armor because you can't socket mods onto anything other than the raid armor itself they, they just need to make it universal um all right i haven't used this in forever and i suck with smgs um demo headstone's not bad okay those are what do i want on this do i want dsr or perp motion does anyone know for this SMG. Perp. Um, I actually really like Extraordinary Rendition. I have Overflow Frenzy, and I know I have a Demo Frenzy, or Outlaw Frenzy. I don't really need the Outlaw one, but it's nice when you get a headshot. This, that's staying. We'll get rid of this real quick. All right. DSR. Delete the shoot to loot Goss Sniper. No, I'm not getting rid of that shit, bro. We'll make a comeback in Goss one day, dude. One day we'll be running for two. Trust me. We'll get We'll get that record back. Okay, so this is a PvP role of Adjudicator. Should I just keep the Adjudicator one with Fragile and Perp and get... Actually, no, I should probably keep both. This is the, this is the Onslaught Perp one. Dude. Radium tried to tell me this shit was meta. This is the worst SMG I've ever used in the entire fucking game. This role specifically, I think he said was good. Or something similar. And it's awful. No, I think I think you're spitting. Uh, at a certain, I don't know if anyone remembers. I want to say it was close to Splicer, close to when Vog came out. Maybe I'm trolling, but it felt like Extraordinary Rendition was like super good at that point in time. Um, also, yeah, I don't think I, Outlaw's a pretty dog shit perk for PvP or PVE. Sorry. Um, all right, I think that's good for the primary kinetics right now. We can go back and do another pass through it if we need to, but we'll see what we get down to. What is this target? Wait, why do I have two of these? Uh, perp motion or DSR on this? 
I should only, I only want to keep one. Okay, Kill Clip's getting the fuck out of here. Perp motion or DSR? I forget. Target number going for... Maybe we get down to 400. 400 I think is fine. 350 would be even better. Dynamic sway reduction. I'm keeping DSR then. Perp motion's going. Okay. Favorite SMG by far, still have it. I think it was Season of Chosen. That might make sense. It was really good one season, yeah. I, I don't know. Um, all right, let me see. All these weapons are pretty good, and I use them decently, like, pretty consistently. Um, other than chap Chaperone? Chaperone? We already that. Auto-loading chill clip is good. This is great. Field prep frenzy isn't amazing. Field prep vorpal... Field prep Vorpal is just better for a special. Obviously, we don't get the... We still get the real... Yeah, yeah, that's going. That shit's going. Dude, I have so many GLs. Um, that's ambitious chill clip. This is auto-loading demo. All right, get, let me let me get rid of these, and then we're gonna go look at the all the GLs because I need to get rid of a fuck ton. Keep. You think I keep this fusion? What just happened? Why did this not delete? Oh. I never use ignition code. I actually don't even like ignition code. You're saying I keep this shit? See, that, that's the thing. I'm not opposed to keeping random ass rolls. Like, I know people are like, oh, it's it's dog shit now, but I'm, that's... Uh, we can keep it. I'm not opposed to keeping certain random ass rolls because if it takes up one spot, it's not the end of the world. It's just when you have, like, 100 of them. <laughs> I don't know. Right, well, listen. If we need more space, we can get rid of it. Um... Slide shot, danger zone, disorienting. That shit's going. That sounds like ass. Part of my dust, or part of our dust is like my favorite, just blinding because it auto loads. Ambitious proc nades, frenzy. See, it sounds stupid, but I like this role. Back when double special was a thing, because you use it as like a primary weapon pretty much. Left from gold redirection. This is, okay, these are both good. Spike field prep vorpal. Never going to be used. Slide shot demo. Never going to be used. Do I have an auto loading roll for auto loading spike? This is the only auto loading spike roll that I have. Lead from gold demo. Or what did I want? I wanted lead from gold and frenzy. That's what I wanted. Back in the day, and I never got it because there's a million rolls. Not top for keeping. Keep ignition code just to have kinetic. Sh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do I keep 1600 exotics? It depends on the exotic. I don't know what like is a 1600 that I have right now. Oh, okay. Bastion's a good example. <laughs> Bastion I use for fuses. That's basically it. Fuses in DSC. This is one of the most effective weapons against them. And it also isn't like a heavy weapon. So you can still run like an eager edge sword. That rate is 1600 power. So there's really not the biggest advantage to infusing this if I don't need to. So that's why. Keep the slide shot blinding. Okay, so I think I'm keeping... This is my auto loading blinding. This is slide shot blinding. No, no, it's not. Where the fuck is the slide shot blinding? Wait, how did this get in here? Okay, whatever. I did not mean to throw that in there. That was a crazy voice crack. I think danger zone is increased blast radius, right? I think this is a good roll if I need to spam blinding. Um, blinding these are just dog shit, though. I, I stand by that. This is the only auto-loading spike one that I have. I think we get rid of lead from gold demo. I don't see myself using this. Fuck it. I have detachment issues, dude. I, what if it's useful? What if it's useful at one point? I have... I have issues. 
This is chill clip, which is actually good for overloads. That's my lot, dude. Are there good craftable GLs in this game? Pure chill syndrome starting to show. Dude. <laughs> nice, you have a good one. You can need data. No, dude, I don't want to get pressured into deleting shit. That's the issue. That's the big issue. Dude. Okay, here, here's the thing. There have been multiple times where I need a roll and I don't have it. And then I'm just fucked. Okay, here, good example. That shit, that shit's gone because it's craftable. Like those are easy decisions. Super cluster, like I've never even used this. I know it's craftable, but I'll, I'll craft it if I need it. This is hot dog shit. This gun's actually pretty fucking bad too. Uh, I'll craft it if it ever becomes meta. This thing should have... Is this my... Yeah, this is moving target. That sh... That should have never even been in my inventory in the first place. Um, Harmony Shoot Loot is staying, but I think I have like two of these. No, I don't. Okay. Defiance of Yasmin's going. Cool. See? Dude, some, some of the weapons are easy to get rid of. Because I like, you know, it's not bad. Like, I'm never going to use that roll because I'm never going to be spamming shit. Um... Like spamming GLs for damage and stuff, but that ritual shot is dog shit. Yep, that's probably true. <laughs> you can pull reckless endangerment, but I don't have to pull it if it's already in my my vault. So I farm for days for the GL you just dismantled. Which roll? Well, to be fair, I have sliding. I don't know if he wanted demo on it like I had. I can't imagine he wouldn't. Having demo on that is just like dumb because Bonnie needs to do really low damage. But I do have this with Danger Zone. That's exactly what he wanted. To be, dude, to be completely honest, if you're using a weapon like this and you have used a weapon like this within the last two years of playing D2... Anything, anything that precedes Vault of Glasses release, you're playing the game wrong. I haven't used blinding nades in forever. For carries and stuff, I get it, but I don't know. Blinding's so ineffective. Um, both these GLs are good. I like the lead from gold, and I like the demo. Like this was, I honestly used this for solo explicator just because it was nice. I'm keeping some of the meme rolls just for fun. Uh. Is Fortissimo still easy to get? Should I keep the lead from gold and Vorpal or no? We can get rid of Reckless Endangerment. We have two of these. I'm getting rid of the Recombo one because I am done with... What's it called? This is a terrible roll. Rewind High Impact I think is good. We have two of these Shoot to Loot Harmonies. Pretty sure this is the exact same roll. A Pennant Arrowhead. So we'll get rid of this one. I need to refresh so I know how many slots I have. Fort's still available for Vanguard focusing. Let me check out the rolls on Fortissimo. Fortissimo has... So yeah, that's the issue with this with this gun. I want to see what my top options would be. Because Vorpal, Vorpal's it. Is there auto-loading on this? We've led from gold Vorpal. Dude... I think we'd want four times. Lead from Gold Vorpal is not like the actual like worst roll to have. I'm going to keep it. I actually think it's a top tier roll. One of the better rolls you could probably get. Not a good like mag though, I don't think. And stuff, but. What is happening? It's in. Threat Vorpal is good. Okay. If it had auto loading, it would be so good. We put Reckless in there. Ah. Uh... I think this is I think this is still a decent sniper. Albeit this guy's better, but I think we keep it for now until we'll keep it for now until VOG weapons are reworked and once they're craftable, we're chilling. This is an aggressive frame, and I'm pretty sure that's dog shit. This was good at one point, I wanna say, but I've never used it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. 
fourth times firing and rapid hit firing. This has a super fast reload, so I don't think I need rapid hit. Four times is probably just better. That's for PvP, even though it's pretty ass. This is going... This used to be really good. If adaptives ever get uh, uh, buffed, I feel like that'll still be decent. Triple tap... Oh, is triple tap rapid? Do we have good craftable kinetic adaptives? Does anyone know? If one's craftable, we're chilling. You have the name? How did you miners? I wish you the best of luck in cleaning your vault. Just remember, it's not the god rolls we get. It's the four out of five we made along the way. Yeah, well, that's good, Sam. Use blinding needs for nostalgia. Blinding needs kind of suck in this meta. Yeah. I, don't get me wrong. I, I wish we played in a meta where blinding and stasis was good. That was one of the best metas to play in, I think, because it was right before the game started getting really, really easy. It was... It was like Vog. And right after Vog, I think was Witch Queen? Um, or and Val? Yeah, it was. So that's when we got 3.0 and the game just started getting super easy to play. Which sucks. Adapts aren't good. Uh, Yasmin's better than this. Thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. Uh, for anyone asking for, for Sorting Dim, this is how I have it set. You want to copy the arrows and everything. The order. Same tags. Achilles gave me this. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it, it's kind of nice because it'll put your exotics at the top. I don't know if it sorts by power level or not. I forget. But it, it also separates by ammo type, which is really nice. So you can... I wish it was like there was a bigger bar, but it, it's still kind of easy to see. Like these are my primaries. These are my specials. Primary, special, then heavy. Um, we have a lot of heavies to clear too, dude. All right, this looks good. That's a, that's a massive improvement. Absolutely massive. Opinion on the slammer. I think it is... One of the weapons of all time. Get it? So that you have Eager on it. I don't know how the system with enhanced Eager Edge is going to work next season with the final shape. Bungie has announced that... So I, I didn't read it and, and in all of its details. So somebody could probably correct me in chat. But eventually next season, we'll get the ability to get enhanced perks on Nightfall weapons. Like GM weapons. So it's going to be very, very good. The only downside is it, it uses some heavy ammo when you skate. So, yeah. Rated depth style. How does that work, though? I don't, I don't, I've never even done the rated depth. God roll slammer. Uh, I don't know how many slammers I have. Did I keep, did I keep more than one? My slammer, all you need is eager, though. I have eager and bait. Bait and switch isn't really that great. Well, bait and switch is good. They're just not good frames right now. And if they become meta, you'll probably see it coming a mile away because Bungie will slowly make them better. And uh, you'll have time to farm, probably. Hit the left arrows next to your vault. No longer shows roll rows. Oh, like my other character? That. No, it doesn't use heavy ammo. Okay, anybody anybody who's saying it doesn't use heavy ammo doesn't really know what they're talking about, in my opinion. It's just a fucking... It's like one of those things people say who like don't actually know what they're... Like, not to clown on people, but it's one of those things people say when they don't actually know what they're talking about. And they just want to act like people are bad, if that makes sense. It definitely uses ammo. <clears throat> when you skate. It just depends on the situation you're in. Especially in a speedrun setting, because there's not any world where you're doing a speedrun, and you're always near the edge every single time. Yeah, but this is, this is the issue, bro. Everyone's acting like you can every single time be perfectly on the edge. If you do fast inputs when you're not near the edge, you're not skating. You're planting your well. Your cosmic just use macros <laughs> jesus christ is that i hope that's troll bro okay look if you're on the edge you can skate fast just like that no ammo is used right like that's that's how it works you can do lightning fast inputs or you know super fast inputs very consistent 
doesn't use ammo. I'm well aware that that exists, but in a lot of cases, like right here, if I do the same inputs, it's just not gonna work. Wait, hold on. That was actually a very bad example. Wait, what am I? I didn't even switch the slammer. Let me see. There you go. Still show it's not using ammo. The issue is when you're not close enough to the edge and you still want to skate without doing like the quick inputs, I'm pretty sure. Like there, you're just not close enough to the edge to get the skate to go through. I'm pretty sure. But I could if I did delayed inputs like that. So it's all very situational. And I people that say that it doesn't use ammo just don't know how to skate in different methods or what they're talking about, really. If that makes sense. I also think that you just need to understand better how eager skating works. Thing is that your goal is to start sword slash jump while you're surface. I can't tr I can't tell if this is troll, bro. I, I'm not entertaining this. I'm not entertaining this topic of conversation. She knows how to skate. You keep legendary specifically for champ stuns, or are you not that type of gamer? Under over Genesis adaptive unit. Oh uh, no, I don't really keep anything like that for for stuns. All right, here, here here's the issue. You can skate like this. Don't use ammo, right? That's perfectly fine. But that that requires fast inputs, and the only reason fast inputs work there is because you are super close to the edge. Which means every time you're skating, you have to go like this, stop right on the edge, and then skate. It's not the end of the world, but it's a way slower way to play the game. Because if I wanted to, I could skate from all the way back here and be much quicker. It's probably a half second off of timing and shit compared to somebody who has to run and perfectly place himself off an edge. But it like it makes a huge difference in speedrunning. Most people probably aren't going to speedrun, and they probably play like this. Right? I get that's the general, like populace that plays the game so for most people it's probably going to be fine but if i do that same super quick input timing all the way back here the skate doesn't go through because i'm activating my shatter dive like back here that's what i'm trying to say so hopefully that makes sense you do not have to stop kosh I, kosh there's no way you're winning this argument bro there you don't have to actually stop i'm, I'm not saying you do right but like you have to just walk all the way to the edge like that, and it's just going to be slower in a lot of situations. Especially if you're, like, fake skating around and shit like that. It's just... It's just how it is. No, there's there's no way he's not... There's He has to be trolling. He has to be trolling. Like, if you're, if you're fake skating around and shit, and you end up here... You're, you're not doing... You're not going to walk two seconds forward and then skate. It's just, it's just not the way anyone plays in speeds and shit. Giving a TED talk on skating because <laughs> I'm getting because I'm 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 having to argue with people who don't know what they're talking about, bro. I'm about to get banned. I, no, I mean, you're not gonna get banned. I just don't know if you're trolling or you're serious. All right, we're going back to the fucking helm, bro. I, I'm no longer entertaining this fucking lack of movement knowledge. In most cases, I'm, I'm not talking your shit, G. In most cases, I'm not disagreeing. Like, if you if you want, you can force yourself to, like, skate from the edge, not use ammo, stuff like that. It's just, if you do that in every single case, you're being, you're slower than somebody else. That's I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Dude, movement is tough. Olsen's a movement demon. Also, do you agree or disagree? Me personally, I fly around with Xeno. <clears throat> Am I spewing? I, okay. I didn't know if I'm spewing or not. <laughs> I'm moving different. About to move in between your cheeks, Riley. Hey, bro. Really love your videos. Would really appreciate if you said Abo. Abo is my name. I just want to hear you say it for some reason. Let's get Abo. Much appreciated. Champ stun for potential is pretty good for slammer, so I'm probably going to keep using it. Oh, oh, with, uh, 
Yeah, with cold steel, I'm not I'm not disagreeing with that. I, I wouldn't mind going for a cold steel roll. Basically, the thing I guess that I was saying before all this is I don't know if it's just gonna be easier to regrind and get enhanced perks down the line. So I don't really care about getting a perfect roll right now. Because eventually I'm gonna want enhanced eager, which is gonna make this thing so much fucking better. Um, so yeah. What's good, Yao? Abo more like about to hit this skate. That's crazy. We're done kinetics. Before we went on the fucking TED Talk rants. Uh, that gun's dog shit. That gun's dog shit. That gun's dog shit. This gun is dog shit. This one's actually fun to use. Skyburn is like terrible, but for the meme, I think we keep it. I don't know why I have two level twos of these, but we're gonna get rid of them. Um, I'm gonna keep the ringing nail until it gets on sunset i actually like my shadow price i don't mind my summoner but i should probably regrind a new one and i think i made amit for the crafting somebody correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure amit is not the best pve gun out there um and then somebody's gonna need to tell me if these bows are good or not because i've never really used a bow in pve highest kill count weapon i think forb or teagle teagle's at like Teagle's what, 63? I want to say Forb is better than this. But I think I have two of them. Is this my main one? No. 67. Oh, they're pretty close. They're comparable. Um, it's the best gun in the game, obviously. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> is it actually good for PvP or no? Or PvE? What am I saying, dude? Um, it is now mediocre that Abyss and Summoner exist. I mean, Abyss Defiant is 360, right? So I'm not ever going to be using that. Summoner, I think, is what? A 600? Which is good. I just don't have the best roll. So I probably should be grinding a roll for it. What does Ahmed actually offer? Wait, this is pretty good. What is this? 600? Oh, this is 450. We'll keep the Ahmed for now. Uh, Wolf Tone Draw and Tyranny of Heaven. I'm pretty sure... What is this? Archer's Tempo, Archer's Tempo Explosive. I want to say this is craftable. I also think Explosive is terrible. Like, I feel like Incandescent would just be better, but... Well, I think we just keep them. We only have two bows. We could probably craft this one eventually, but... This is pretty good perks, and the origin trait is nice, but yeah, the frame's bad. Yeah. You can craft on it. Yeah, no, I, I have it craftable. I mean, I'm just going to keep... Wait, how did this get in here? I'm gonna, I am gonna. was just going to keep it. I might as well, right? I have two Zallies for a reason. Word of Crota is craftable, so that's going. Outlaw Dragonfly. Is this still available on Nation of Beasts? I want to say it's not. Nah, we're keeping that Nation of Beasts. That thing feels way too zesty. <laughs> Fragile moving with opening. I don't think I used the Precision Instrument one. I think I used the Masterwork one. And I think I... Should I keep this with opening shot and quick draw? Or just get rid of it because I have moving fragile. Does anyone know? Is it worth it to prep bounties for final shape? I'm probably going to prep bounties, yeah. GB play with Duncan? Yeah? How about I play with Duncan? Duncan my nuts in your mouth? Is that is that the same Duncan? He's from overseas. I think I play with him. Do I have a Discord? Yeah, I do have a Discord. I want to say in YouTube chat it works. If you do a... Uh, if you do exclamation point Discord, see if the command pops up. It might take a second. You might also be able to do exclamation point commands to see what all is available in there too um, in the in the YouTube chat. I know obviously it all works in Twitch. I just set it up on YouTube a little bit later. So keep both. Keep precision. Okay. This is a bad Kindled... Oops. I don't want that. This is a very, this is not a good Kindled Orchid, but just on the off chance it doesn't come back, I think I want to keep it. Outlaw Rampage Roll is gone. 
I just, I, you just don't use that. Rampage is terrible. Um, this is still a good palindrome for now, I feel like. Not really, but... Outlaw Dragonfly on this is still good, I think. Like, not good good, but I, some of these weapons, I just like the rolls. Um, they're just nostalgic, so I don't really want to get rid of them. This is no longer a 150, so I'm going to get rid of Waking Vigil, and I'm... What? Pretty sure I can craft it. Whatever. We'll get rid of oh, yeah. What the fuck? We'll get rid of all these. Waking Vigil has shoot to loot. <laughs> Dude, I'm never using a shoot to loot hand cannon. That's going to be terrible. It works. Sweet. Kindle was nice. Miss it. Love all the black armory weapons. Their sounds and models. Can't craft Waking Vigil. How do you get it? I thought you could craft it. When did that come out? <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. Dismantling certain shit takes forever. It's awful. Shoot to loot tarnished. Yeah, I genuinely don't know why people. I mean, if I had a staccato, I would definitely use it if I had shoot to loot explosive. Because it's just, it's such a clean feeling and sounding ex uh, legendary. But, yeah, Tarnished being level 1 for both. Uh, where is it? Oops. Shoot to loot explosive, level 1. is amazing. There goes Iggy. What? What just happened? What did I just delete, bro? Oh. I deleted an Igneous, but I had a bunch, right? I still have good... Oh, you said to keep both. I thought both... Ah, whatever. I, I could care less. I usually use this one now. Okay. That's fine. I want this guy gone. I still have this Palindrome, which is, like, maybe decent. It's more of a PvP weapon than a PvE. Hankins have not been that great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... I'm pretty sure this was still my better one because it's masterworked. I think moving target fragile. I don't. Dude, I fucking... I haven't played PvP in a month. <sighs> I don't mind Enlightened Action Vault Shot. I actually really like this roll. Sub Frenzy on Jurassic Green. Why do I have two of these? What's better? Tac Mag? I'm pretty sure Flared, right? 15 Reload? Yeah. All right, we're getting rid of the newer one. That's pink. I don't know why I have two of the same things. Overflow Rampage seems like ass. People were creaming about this back when it was like sold or whatever. Is it worth keeping Wellspring Demo for this? I want to say it might be. Eight months of boners and cheeks. Yeesh. Yeah, what's good, Doug? Thank you for the eight. What's good, what's good? What's good, Air? Is this no to getting rid of or no to keep? Listen, listen, listen. Wellspring, dude, we get a kill. We get 8% ability energy. So that's 2% to all abilities. Plus, we combine that with demo, and that's another 10, right? 10 on primary, 20 on special. That's 12%. It's crazy, dude. It could be insane. That could be meta. That could be so good. All right, whatever. This I've used the, this thing, Sunset. Oh, do I keep Outlast, actually? I think I see some of these sunset weapons I keep just, just for the meme. I actually like Veli's X. Um, as far as. No, I don't. What am I saying? Wait. Yeah, I do. Do I? You can get these back, yeah? Yeah, that's fair. Yo, call Joe. Whoever's Discord account that is, thank you for the the boost in the Discord server. Much appreciated. Um, also, Geo, no worries. What's good? Uh, okay, we keep all these. Keep that. This is level two, so I'm going to dismantle it and craft it later. Is this weapon craftable? Vouchsafe? I want to say it is, but... 
I don't remember fully. I'm keeping this scout. This scout looks good until they're back. Nope, it's not. It's not the greatest in the world, but we'll keep it for now. Um, contingency plan. Genuinely, I've never used this, but I still, for some reason, feel like I don't want to delete it. It's rapid hit with frenzy and sur like surplus and frenzy is an overlapping role, but are there better arc scouts? Is there a way for me to uh, to see all my craftable weapons? Is there a way to see like the? Is there a site? Does anyone know? That lets you see every craftable weapon. is crafted there's one in game thank you that's it that's what it is ingram blue what do you do crafting progress along with bungee I mean, I can check in game. I just don't want to keep going between the the helm and that. I mean, I guess I could. Can I sort by? Dude. All things considered, we have a good amount of this done. Um, But yeah, this doesn't help me. Because is there any way to search by? Oh, thank fuck, dude. Scout rifles. If I have a good arc scout. What am I fucking saying if I have a good arc scout? I already have, dude. We're getting rid of this shit. I, of course, we have uh, tarnished metal. Uh, all right. Vouch safe. You guys said it's not craftable. And then I thought somebody else said it was. I mean, Duma Chalchus is probably better, right? Does this tell me info about it? Precision. Uh, does it give me an RPM? What is precision RPM? Anyone know? Is it 180? Are 180s better than 200s? Vouchsafe's goaded. Yeah, I kind of like Vouchsafe. I mean, we can keep it. It's not the craziest role. Actually, it's a pretty good fucking role. Like, Outlaw's not terrible. Yeah, we'll keep it. Whatever. We could always do a, uh, a Duma Chalchus, but... Actually, Dimash Chelsea's rolls are pretty fucking good too, are they not? Isn't there Frenzy? Yeah, there's Frenzy. I don't know which perk, is, which comms, which. I'm assuming this is final. Frenzy Explosive probably goes pretty fucking hard. All right, yeah, whatever. We can craft that if we need to. Um, sidearm, sidearm wise, I actually really like Brigands Law. Obviously, sidearms are pretty shit. Brigands is decent. Uh, do I have Drain Craftable? That's what I need to figure out. Drang barbecue is craftable. Uh, so we'll get rid of this. I used to like this. I mean, we only have two sidearms, so I think we're going to keep it. This thing looks like a fucking Glock, so I kind of like it. Just looks like a real gun, and it used to be fun as fuck with more mind cells. <laughs> Do I have the frame? What is this for, booty? Which, uh, which one? Sounds amazing. Such horrible perks. Yeah, that is true. The sidearm? I just checked. I have it craftable. If it's green, I'm good. Otherwise, it's white. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Do I have a better stochiastic? <laughs> no? Why the fuck? Whatever. Why do I have such bad stochiastics? Oops. Pretty sure you can do this all on dim. Delete it on dim. You might be right. To be honest though, I, I feel like if I did do it all on dim, I'd make more mistakes. And accidental deletions then if I just transfer them over. Does that make sense? If that's what you're saying. I don't know about checking weapon crafted pattern or progress if that's what you're saying. Um, let me see. Like I don't know where you'd see your 
your progress or patterns and if it's craftable. Oh, you can't dismantle on them? Okay, okay. You're brave for doing this on stream. I don't think I could handle it. Why? <laughs> Brings log at power crept. It's still good. I like it a lot. I actually don't even think it's power crept either. I think this is still the single-handed, like, best vault shot weapon in the entire game. Hmm. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. I'm used to... I mean, when I'm doing low man solos, speeds and shit, the backseating can get annoying. Speeds is a little different because if anyone's backseating when we're doing, like, speeds, it's, it's like, it usually has no weight to, to it. Because anyone that, like, actually runs usually isn't backseating. Unless they're genuinely trying to help, but... Here, I don't know. I care less. <laughs> Bring and shoot fast. Still kind of different weapon. Dude, they're good. It's just sidearms aren't good. Sidearms are not meta. But I, I love the way it feels. Feeding Frenzy Volt Shot feels good on this. Um, The only other weapon that you could like make the argument for is, is Volt Shot on this. But there's just not good reload perks, dude. Like, th Threat Detector is just so conditional. It's good, but it's... I don't know. I still don't have, in my opinion, I, there's still not a good weapon with Volt Shot. Icolos, it's a 720. Not great reload perks either. It's not bad. It's just, I don't know. Why ever you stochiastic over subjunctive? That's a great question. Uh, the answer, I probably won't. I'm pretty sure they're the exact same weapon. Um, I just had these for, from back in the day. I don't, what does this, does this have elemental? Or, or sorry, what does this have? Um, does this have... It doesn't really matter. Ambitious Assassin, is that what it is? Yeah. Um. No, yeah, just, just a bunch of old rolls, basically. I think the last time I had these, we didn't have good arc SMGs. Which version of Icolos is this? That's Seraph, which is also the craftable version. So, there's really no major need to keep this. Obviously, Callus Mini Tool is good. I have one. This is my non-crafted. I don't really need to delete it right now, I don't think, because I do have another crafted. That's my funnel web. Demo incandescent, I think, is a decent roll on that. Target lock rangefinder. Demo I also demo pugilist isn't a bad roll to have either. The title actually shouldn't have ever even touched my vault. This is my crafted roll. This is an old demo roll for Icolo, so I keep it. This is my funnel funnel web god roll. Shire. This is a terrible Shire, as I'm pretty sure. Kill clip killing wind. Somebody let me know if I should keep that. Um What was I thinking about? Target lock rangefinder. I don't think I need that in the energy slot. Keep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. delete the target lock. Okay, okay. Keep this echo. That's better for PvP. Keep Shayura. What is my other Shayuras? I have a oh wait, did I get rid of Golden Tricorn Killing Wind? I should there's no way I use that in PvP or PvE. It's also a 720 or 600s are terrible in PvE. Uh other than this, I for some reason I love the 7 serif. I'm going to keep this cuz you can't really get serif weapons anymore. Uh and then I'm keeping some of these funnel webs just or not funnel webs. Uh I keep this is a spare funnel web in case I ever have to delete my main one on GMG, so that's a tactical decision. Um and then these are also spares just in case I could easily see Golden Tricorn or Adrenaline Junkie getting buffs and these being good for grenades. I should probably delete Hero's Burden, but it's such a niche roll that I'm going to keep it. I think this is fine, though. What are we, We're down to 510. I don't think it's the end of the world. I can show off my, uh, my dim shit in a second right here. Cap. Title will never be good. I know. Records tab on dim. Where is records tab? Oh. Where is it? Is there craftable weapons? Huh. Dude, what the fuck?
Oh, it only shows one at a time. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. I, I think it's definitely still quicker just to tab over and check this with images. It's way quicker to scan through, but that's pretty dope. Uh, all right. Inventory. If you want to know how I have it sorted, it's this. The one that splits by ammo type is ammo type. So if I get rid of ammo type uh, and then I go back, it should throw them back together. I don't know if it just didn't refresh or not. Apparently, I just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, whatever. Did I have it like this or like this? Whatever. Sweet. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. Ammo second with the blue. Okay, perfect. Uh, all right. So that's most of those. Those are all my primaries in the energy slot, which to be fair, it seems like a lot, but I, I definitely think primaries actually I have a lot of, well, okay. A lot of these are exotics. Um, I genuinely think primaries in the energy slot. It's just the way to go. Uh, all right, let's get rid of some other bullshit. Jotun's gone. That's gone. Telesto we keep for the meme. That's craftable. X dearest. I don't know if it's actually good or not, but I have two fourth horsemen, which I'm going to keep because... It seems troll, but I've been in situations where, where I'm using both at the same time. It's kind of like four from like it's just such a good weapon to be able to have on multiple characters. Uh, okay, all these are great. Is loaded question good? This is a an overflow frenzy roll. Exterior is cheeks, even with the buff. Okay, cool. Two fourth horsemen is crazy. It's not crazy. Uh, to be fair, I was doing. It was back right after the loadout nerf. We were doing gas speeds. I want to say I don't remember if it was six man or three man when we were doing them, and I wanted one on one character and then another one just to generally use on other characters. So it wouldn't pull during. It wouldn't pull weapons after that nerf because of the. It wasn't crafting or whatever. It was uh. It was the loadout bug where you put like the Val armor mods on and take them into other activities. So that nerf prevented it from pooling from like postmasters or whatever. And I'm pretty sure I was in runs the one night and like swathed my loadout and I just didn't have fourth horse. So I just made another one. Uh... It's not a good look having two of these. Is this Glacio? We're going to keep Glacio Clasm. Do I keep loaded question or no? Lord of Wolves. I mean, I could get rid of Lord of Wolves too. I just, I don't know. I don't. I'm lazy. Mid roll. Uh, is that, uh, what's the frame? High impact. This is a PvP weapon, right? Trash the loaded question. Okay, sweet. Is this any, is this any good for PvE? Oh, you know what? I don't even know why I'm saying that. This is the best arc one I'm ever going to use, probably. I should probably get rid of Zealous Reward. They're going to rework Goss weapons, and I don't even use that. Uh, here's a plug one. I want to say this is a good PvP weapon. Does anyone know? Backup quick draw. Not bad for PvP. Is Goss Sniper Rapid Fire? It is, yeah. Delete. Glaive wise, these aren't good glaives. Um, but I only have three of them. I could get rid of Enigma. I'm gonna get uh What the fuck is this perk? Upon blocking damage with the glaive shield, decrease glaives block movement speed penalty. Dude. Who the fuck thinks of these perks? They're so bad and so niche. You can craft those glaives. I'll keep some of them because I'm. There's no shot I cla I craft a glaive, so I might as well have one. But which slammer roll should I be looking for? The only ones that you'll ever probably use is going to be with Eager Edge. So I would do Eager Edge and Cold Steel, and or Eager Edge with Demolitionist. Those are the one slash two rolls you should go for. I would say. 
feel like eager cold steel's meta. I can see I can see use for both. I would argue there's never really been a time to my knowledge that I've been doing speeds and I need grenade energy and I'd ever use like a sword to do it, so I wouldn't disagree. Eager cold steel is probably better. <laughs> but I don't know. Usually you don't need that. Like eager demo. Can't imagine. What ghost shell? Um, oh, this is actually pretty sick. The void shell. I don't know. I saw it. It looks simple and cool. So. Got eager, relentless, cold steel. Yeah, it seems pretty solid. It'd be cool if they got buffed and were good damage weapons again. All right. Okay, lead from gold, vault shot on undercurrent. I'm going to be real. I had no idea that I had this, but apparently that's a good roll, so I'm going to keep that. Envy's permeability. This is the worst weapon in the game, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is my main forb, so we keep. This is an insane truth teller roll. Keep that. This seems troll. Demo frenzy with prox nades. I like some of them. I, I, prox nades just are fun to dick around with and use as like an ad clear weapon, so I'm keeping that one just for fun for me. I'm going to also keep the extra forb. This is level one. So we're getting rid of that. Uh, Deafening Whisper I'm keeping. It's the only one I have. I could get rid of this one, but... Oh. What the fuck is this? That's going. This is the god roll. I probably don't need this third forb. But I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> What's good, Rad? Bro, my vault's at 600 and you're cleaning at 400. I was I was at 585 earlier tonight. I'm pretty sure. Should have hopped in with me. How do people have over 250? Just depends, I think. Depends on how many rolls you collect and other shit. I think my vault should be worse than most people. Especially because like if you come down here, I keep a lot of armor and random bullshit just for and random rolls for like speeds low mans other shit like that is it's a lot more niche you, you end up using a lot more niche shit, uh shit but then also more so for videos and builds why is the double shot gl icon picture going to the left when it's energy weapon oh yeah is that how those are supposed to work wait that's a fucking thing since when? Is this how they designed the game? Yeah, you're a bot? Dude. Okay, that's crazy. I think we time Brutus out for a month. What do we think? That's just mad disrespectful. People found verdicts. They're going to be bad. They're going to be very bad. Um. Alright, so this weapon, I'm going to keep... Oops. Actually, do I keep the harsh language? It's pretty fucking bad looking. And I've never actually used it. Which is a pretty good indicator that I shouldn't keep it. This is auto-loading procs. Um, that looks pretty bad. Is this my blinding auto-loading one? Do I not have a blinding auto-loading one? I guess I just don't. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm at 496, yeah. I have a ways to go still. Even Envious Destabilizing, I can't imagine, would be good. I'm keeping Martyr's Retribution. This thing is the GOAT. I can craft a nest as Ablation, but I don't really see a point right now. I use this. I have used this, so I feel like I'm going to keep it. This needs to go. Philo stays. Why do I have enhanced surrounded on this? And I have a crafted roll too. What am dude? What? Why is there a memento on this shit, dude? What is this? <laughs> 
dude. What is this from? What role in the new Tusk of the Boar waveframe are you be looking for? I can show it off real quick. This is this is what you should be going for is deconstruct and probably enlightened action. Deconstruct is weird. I think it's a very like niche slash bad perk. You should usually never use it, but it's it's fucking crazy for this because and it should be crazy. It says uh the activation requirement for this that the main thing that you're getting is ammo from thin air being automatically put into your magazine and the activation requirement is scoring 50% of the magazine size like landing that as a hit rounded down plus 2 so if you take the mag size it is 1 divided by 2 is 0.5 round it down means it goes to zero and then plus two means you only need to land two hits so if you ever hit more than one enemy i want to say more than one enemy with this you should be good if it if only one shot can like if if, if a single shot can count as multiple hits which i want to say it can because that's the way like chain reaction and other shit works on other wave frames you should be able to have this with infinite ammo but i could be wrong hatchling no what how does that even work here Oh, rapid defeats. I mean, I don't, I don't see Hashling being good. Pushes up glasses ass conversation for real. Uh, I don't think so. It just depends if that registers multiple hits, which I'm hoping it does. If there's a GL with deconstruct on it, somebody could probably go and test now. Are there any single shot weapons that have that? You can't even really tell with a bow. It's, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I'm guessing you cleared acquisition. If you're down to this. Oh, yeah. I cleared acquisition last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Toss to the first. No, I think you're right. I guess we'll just have to see how that works. Part of me wants that to work. Part of me also doesn't want it to work. Because it like that's just going to be an infinite ammo away from GL in the kinetic slot so if that happens the game's just going to be chalked it would have to get nerfed like immediately uh all right we're keeping this is this a good matador i don't know why i'm asking i know it's not a good matador that's uh okay auto loading one two punch is one of the rolls that looks like dog shit all right yeah we'll get rid of, we'll get rid of all these What's on the content log now? Dungeon speeds or something? I don't think so. No dungeons look good, dude. Do you have any channel points to play Genshin? I don't want to play Genshin. So a lot. I think if it's infinite, it's going to be nerfed. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Well, dude, guys, to be fair, you have to do... You have to put in work to get infinite ammo. You have to hit an entire... Two enemies with a single waveframe shot, which is that's that's intense, dude. That's a lot of work. So it's kind of like if you think about it, right? You put in oh, is this a good roll? You put in a lot of work and you get a lot out of it, you know. Why do I have this? I feel like I'm set on one two punch shotguns, so I should probably just get rid of all these. Is this aggressive as well? Wait, what? There's different aggressive frames. 55, 80, 60, 80. <laughs> oh no, I have uh what's it called? Yeah, I have assault, that's why. Ammo from air reserves. It's air. That's the crazy part. It's air, yeah. Can you still pull Python? I'm only I know obviously people have said yeah with uh ritual stuff, but I'm pretty sure this was Pinnacle. And it's sunset. 
Hey, Big G, you do emblem giveaways. If I have them, but I usually never have them. Dude, it's actually, oddly enough, we're doing a... I was on a podcast earlier tonight with Abontis. He he hosts one. Um, it's called the, the Last Word Podcast. So it was him, uh, Ty Guy Travis. He's like an IGN reviewer for video games. Scaro and myself. And like the, the first main big talking point of two was going over the collector's edition for uh, um, Lightfall or Final Shape that everybody just got sent. And so we're like mid mid podcast or whatever. And like, oh, did everybody get one? And I'm like, nope. So I don't think Bungie really sends me shit. Uh, Bobble, by the way. Sorry, I missed it. Thank you for the seven months. What's good? Thank you for the, the resub, the primer. Thank you, thank you. Yes, you can pull Python. You can check in game if you're not sure. I mean, I could care less. I'm never really going to use it, but I just wanted to check. That was deep unlucky. I Maybe I just haven't applied to the Bungie creator thing, but I feel like I have. Um, Auto-loading Volt Shot. That's got to be troll as fuck. Is Slide Shot opening good? I don't know if I asked this. G, have you done Solar Caretaker? Wanted to ask. Our second floor symbols RNG. In my opinion... I think they're pretty high RNG. It depends on how you play, though. Found Verdicts is a yikes in PvP. Thank you. I would say yes. Air. The reason I say that is because... Obviously, it's going to be RNG on the, the order you get. Other people have said there's, there's less RNG, and you can do it if you if your movement's like really good, and you know the routing. Um... But I think that is only true if you get stun. So I think no matter what your RNG on second floor is, if you get stun and you get up early, you have time. Otherwise, I'm, I I would just call cap and say that it's pure RNG. Not to, not to have an ego about it, but I feel like my movement on Caretaker was probably better than most people who is who are going to run. Because most people probably just don't do speeds and do a bunch of other shit. And I, I don't know. I If I got bad RNG it, it, I, and I didn't get stun, I was not clearing. So... No doubt of all cleaning with the shit G. You gotta milk that cow. Dude, I would DM I would DM Dado and say, hey, would you mind helping me clean my vault for content? And I would not get replied. <laughs> oh, you always get tears. He, you can vouch. Dado would ego me. Miners, two horsemen, why? For speeds. That would 100% reply, trust. <clears throat> I mean, even if you would, I, I don't think I'd, I'd reach out. Mainly because, one, I don't know him too well, and so I feel like it'd just be weird. It'd be like, hey, would you help me do the thing that you've helped other people do? But, I don't know. <laughs> I'll ask that up for you. Uh, what was I going to say? Where were we? We did shoddies. See, this is a weird one to keep. I know it's not enhanced, but we I needed this back in the day. Beacon surrounded, enlightened action surrounded. I'm gonna get rid of the enlightened action one. I have four of these. And I don't need them all. Triple tap high impact. Adaptive. Is there a good solar adaptive replacement here or no? Fourth Horseman squared. I had it for speeds. That's that's why I had it. I had one in a loadout, kept it on my character, and then I just had another one to use. Uh, is there a good craftable adaptive? Why can't I get out of this? If there is, I don't have it. Yeah, this doesn't have really good perks, though. I'm just trying to see if I keep these, because I, I used to have a lot. Triple tap high impact seems like a decent damage one. Not great, but if they got buffed... Oh, wait, what am I saying? 
All right, we, we get rid of this. I don't think we need triple tap when we have, what's it called? Clown. This and Tomulus is rapid fire. Yeah, beacon rounds better. So the question, how did you separate your secondaries like that? Yeah, I can show it off again. Uh, this is the one that I've set up right now. What's good, Alec? You want an adaptive? Are they good? Um, No, not particularly. Rapid fires are better. Not disputing that. But at a certain point in time, I want to say adaptives were better. Like around DSC era? DSC time? Could, I could be spewing. I also wasn't that great at the game back then, nor had like as much of an, a knowledge for archetypes. Um, but yeah. Uh, rapid hit firing line seems like ass. This and fire is this adaptive? I'll keep that. This is aggressive. Okay, that. I'm getting rid of that. That's fine. That's just for fun. Should I keep retraced? If I have a case, wait, wait, you can see pattern progress. Wait, what? How, uh, how can I check pattern pro? I need to find something that I have a non crop like this. Oh, you can't see pattern. Okay. I don't know. Whatever. Keep retraced is, is, uh, I guess what I want to know. Can this John get incandescent? I want to say it should be able to, it can. So then the only real reason I'm keeping this is for subsistence. Does this still have incandescent? What is, what's sunset? It's literally just you to leave that that's gone. I don't, I don't, I mean, I'll keep it for now. Oh, this is demo too. I want to get this craftable, but I'm not willing to play theirs. I could, I could probably get away with deleting it, but I will keep it for now. Pretty sure if you have the pattern, it just, it doesn't show the pattern progress. Okay. Is craftable, not is crafted. If you complete the pattern, it will get taken off when you look at it in dim. Okay. I mean, I could type shit in. I'm just too lazy. Uh, all right. I think we're actually good. I want to say we're good. Keep that. That's my shoot to loot roll. Keep this just to have it because it's crafted. I, I could probably get away with getting rid of some more of these snipers, but we definitely thinned it out. To be honest, your vault is very well managed. Yeah, there's a lot of scrap that needs to go, but this is the other thing. Like, I have so many heavy exotics. This is good. I don't know why I have two of these. That's crazy. Let me put this on. Throw that back. Um, we get rid of one of the 1Ks. So bad. See, things that I have the catalyst on, I don't know why I'm more inept to keeping in my thing, but I should just not be. But to be fair, I think throughout the year, I've def definitely done, like, testing and just other random shit with some of these weapons. Actually, we did, like, an every exotic versus Crota uh, video. So that's probably why I have half of this shit. My shards up to i'm gonna keep two horsemen dude the, the double fourth horsemen's are really pissing people off man i can get rid of it i have like three full characters three near full postmasters and five free spaces in my vault you should change that Look, G, you limiting? I wouldn't even know how to install that limiter, dude. Not even a good fourth horseman roll, to be honest. Yeah, you you are kind of right. The fourth the roll is pretty shit. Where is it? Oh, 
We'll get rid of it. Actually, hold on, hold on. which one has more kills? Eight, four, six. Dude, I put in work with both of these. You were talking about the disabled loadouts during Goss, and I actually forgot how fucking torturous that was. Oh, yeah, they actually disabled it too, didn't they? That wasn't for long, though, right? I was more so talking about the fact that uh, I just... After the day one, yeah. Oh. I, I thought I was more so talking about the fact that Maybe it was just disabled loadouts. Maybe that's what it was. I thought I was talking about the fact of... Uh, what's it called? I thought it was after we had that like uh, loadout swap bug. Where you used like, the raid mods, the Val mods, into the light for every raid. Um, but maybe it was the day one. Why did it get locked out for Crota? Was the crafting bug that was was it before it? <laughs> All right, uh, a lot of these are pretty good. Wardcliff is like niche but decent for PV or for DSC. I don't really need world line, but I'm gonna keep it. We can get rid of hard shadow. That's pretty ass. Oh, okay, this is gonna be a lot of work. I'm gonna have to like cross reference all my GLs, bro. Make sure I have certain rules. Fourth Horseman bug came back. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Black Talon. Black Talon's fun to dick around with. Um, all right, so we're definitely keeping Karaxis. <clears throat> Let's look at this waveframe GL. Is there a role that's actually good on this waveframe? Because I'm pretty sure it's still very bad. All right, Envious One for All is getting scrapped for sure. That shit's gone. Did random guy get banned? Yeah, yeah, I did ban random. <clears throat> Not a hate or anything. He just he just would spam chat so much. It just made it hard to keep up with and shit. Nothing crazy. He, yeah, he just spam chat. I, not, not that I hate people who like spam chat or anything, but it's just if I can't read chat, like he. Well, okay, so he would spam it, but then he'd also like try and fight with people, but like fake fighting. But it'd be like first time chatters and stuff. Like it just was. It just like it would come off weird. Does that make sense? Like I'd always have to look over, and he'd be like half fighting with somebody, but he'd be joking, and then somebody else wouldn't know what he was doing and stuff. So it it just kind of was hard to manage. And no hate. I just I don't know. It's good, Parky. People could equip multiple exotics. I think that's why I was disabled. Interesting. Also, Bean what's good? Uh, all right. Which rolls do we keep? I don't even know if Chain's good on the Hullabaloo. We definitely keep this craftable one. Not that it's good, but uh, this was a crafting roll, so I'm getting rid of that. I want. I feel like I want to keep Cascade too. Envy's Vorpal. I don't know. What's good? G sleepy as fuck. What time is it? Are you East Coast as well? How far we got? We're 468 right now. G Easy popping off right now. I like some of his songs, dude. They're pretty good. They're chill. Um, all right, we can keep potentially those two rolls for now, especially since it's going away. We have a chain roll, imp impulse amplifier, field prep. The only other major one we're missing is Vorpal, but I think even with Vorpal, it's going to be pretty shit. Oh, nah, I'm keeping Vorpal. The reason I'm keeping Vorpal is because it's the only good damage perk. One for all is not bad, but I'm there's no way I'm proccing one for all consistently. And if for some reason there's another boss fake like Riven, I feel like it'll be good. Um, Okay. Fuck, there's so many GLs, bro. Crafted Caraxes can go. 
Envious Beat with Alloy and Quick Launch. I have a Spike one. Alloy gives... Oh, wait. Does Alloy not give me one of the mag? Here. Uh, we'll get rid of this. Because we already have two of the good rolls. Uh, Auto-loading full court. That's field prep full court. We're never going to be using that. That has spike too. What does this have? That has spike too. Not that spike's really needed. Um, Envious full court. Auto-loading bait and switch. Auto-loading bait and switch is really good too. This is sunset. What does this have? Yeah, whatever. That should be fine. Sweet. Spike one has alloy as well. Does it? Oh, it has augmented. Wait, what is alloy casing again? Both of these have augmented. Dude, I got some really good fucking rolls. Of the GL. That's crazy. Alright, whatever. Cold take. Full court is cope. Yeah, it is pretty cope. Not really disagreeing. Depth hotheads. Yeah, we'll, we'll kill off a lot of these rolls. Um, I don't even know if it's worth keeping any Wendigos now either, bro. Like, I want to keep some Cascades. We'll just get rid of... Oh, dude, see, I could see areas where... Well, actually, no. There's never going to be an area where Full Court's good again. Unless it gets buffed. In which case, I'm going to have to re... I'll, I'll keep maybe some Full Court rolls. Cascade. This is Clownful. We don't need that. Cry Mutiny. Do I just get rid of that? Regnant. That's fucking gone. What are you? Explosive Light is pretty bad. Keep that guy for old time's sake. Cry Mutiny we should be able to still get. And it's pretty dog shit. Um, that's a good Storm Chaser. This is my Taipan. This is a good Briars. This is a good Cataclysmic. Although I could craft probably a better roll. I think I... Sales Spy I got for a video. Does this have Volt Shot? Yeah, that's gone. Auto loading Vorpal on this guy is gone. I have a crafted focus fury, so I'll just keep it. That's good. Um pattern progress two out of five. I'm gonna keep this in case I pump it into a pattern. Actually, is this a 452? Uh 450 for 360. Okay. Uh do I keep the saw? Taipan's trash? Taipan's really good. It's just linears are bad right now. I, I would honestly say Taipan's my go-to linear. If linear, for like a day one, if linears aren't. I guess bad. Doom Petitioner and Briars exist, so delete the other ones. Other Solars? What is Doom Petitioner? Tata let me know that he'll reply. That's actually funny. <laughs> Maybe we ping him. But then all the work that I've done, I'm going to feel accomplished. And he's going to look at the, the vault and he's going to say, holy fuck. And then he's going to rip it a new one. Doom Petitioner is insane with reconstruction and precision instruments. Oh, the void guy. Oh, I mean, shit. That is true. I That's what it is. Um... I could get rid of Taipan, but it's craftable. So, like, should I? Ping Dado, do it, prime content. I'm not going to ping him now. <laughs> the petitioner goes hard. I need to actually craft one, but I don't think it's actually... I don't think it's meta, right? It's, it's not beating Rockets out or GLs in any situation. Okay. 
can always recraft. Yeah, I, I mean, that's true. But it's only one slot. Like, it's not... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay. I haven't used this in forever, so I think we get it. I think we get rid of it. Um, does this have an enhanced perk? <sighs> Dude. Whatever, we'll do it. I'm keeping 21%. That's the best weapon that's ever been created, and it caught a stray. Should have never been sunset. Um, Feeding Frenzy Firefly. Demo Firefly. We get rid of this one. I, which I could probably get rid of them all because they're going to be craftable eventually and shit, but I don't know. No, I mean, I might as well clear shit. When I, when I clean my vault, I usually just clear it and it's good for a like, I want to say a year. I think the last time I cleared was probably going into... Uh, what was the last... Going into uh, Lifefall? Especially because you just, like, get a ton of new stuff really quickly. So I'll, I'll just hoard it up before I delete it. Um, Alright. This is... Edgewise is Sunset. It's 900, which is pretty bad. I don't think you can get it again. This is an awful swarm. That is equally dog shit. Is this good? Terminus Horizon. Does anyone use this? Surely we're trashing Saul. I think we just did, did right? Part of me kind of regrets it. Because there's no way to earn those weapons, but... uh, What's done is done. Terminus is so bad. <laughs> okay. That's out of here. Uh, we got this in random flawless. Already know that's gone. We'll keep that roll. Keep our hammerhead. This is a uh, ritual weapon, so we'll keep it. This is the best DPS weapon in the entire game, so we're keeping that. Headstone. Uh, we can recraft this. I think half the reason I kept some rolls, too, was because we, we used to not be able to just craft everything and level it up real quick. Uh, we have Envious Bait Alloy. That's a really good roll. Um, Explosive Clown. That's dog shit. Recon bipod I might actually keep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we'll get the hotheads now. Why do I have so many apexes? Oh, okay. That's a natural roll. This is my surrounded roll. That's my bipod roll. That's my bait roll. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, okay. This is the fucking roar of the bear. That was the cope roll for like 10 minutes. All right, cool. Uh, we'll delete these and then we'll do the hotheads. Best DPS weapon. Okay, to be fair, for how easy it was, it was actually pretty good that one season, but then now it's pretty bad. Crossy's good. I have that clown explo roll. When am I going to use it, though? Um... Because it's arc, it's slightly better than this. But I, in every other case, I think you're just using field prep clown. And it's better DPS. Surge match when I play on arc. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's not the end of the world. I would probably just do a hothead. And it's not. It's going to come out pretty comparable, I think. Let's get Shamir. Crux over hothead. I'm not saying... I'm not saying that's not true. I just... What's it called? I explosive lights. I already have some. I mean, I guess I could have kept it. I'm pretty sure I'll have one with explosive light and like another... I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Anything that's unique, I'm keeping. This one, I think I could argue not to keep. It's tracking and lasting. And I think there's better tracking rolls on, on uh, Apex. So I think I'm going to get rid of this roll. I'm going to... Okay. Oh, all right. We're good. <laughs> um. All right. So where the fuck were we? Is this? Can this actually reload, bro? It still shows. Whatever. 
I think we get rid of this. Dude. I think we get rid of that. This is demo explosive field prep. This is auto loading demo explosive. So I can keep field prep clown. I think these three are good to keep. What is this guy? Field prep Vorpal. See, Vorpal is not a bad one to keep either for certain cases because there's been times where it's been useful, but. Come on a menu in game to refresh. Oh, okay, okay. You like it for explicator, two rockets, and an Izzy each plate, easy peasy. Yeah, that's fair. But I mean, Apex is gonna be able to do that as well. Um I'm just gonna keep this. I, I could delete it. Uh, I'm gonna keep that. Hezen Vengeance, dude. Lasting's been bad for so long. I don't think there's any real reason to keep that roll. Nor this bipod tracking. Nor envious. Actually, explosive is pretty close now to bait and switch. I can't. I can't see a world where you're ever gonna need the. I could see explosive being. I could see explosive pay, Explosive like getting a buff up to like forty percent, because it would still probably be in line. That's auto loading Vorpal. Um. Overflow lasting. Auto loading lasting. Auto loading is usually better. Frenzy's crazy. I don't know why I have that roll. That's sins of the past. I'll keep that for just like, you know, whatever. That's demo, so that's not even good. It's not even good. <laughs> this is a field prep clown. Do I already have that? Yeah. Cool. Semiotikin is very nice with explosive light if you can craft it. Yeah, but it's a bad frame. That's the that's the issue with Semiotikin. It's just a terrible frame because you're list, you're missing, I think, 10%. Gee, can we kiss? I mean shit and I we can. Time and place. More reserves now though. That is fair, but I feel like the somebody put out a chart uh i want to say it was court he does like the infographics and i'm pretty sure the total damage still lags behind i could be wrong though don't quote me blowout that is a horrific blowout roll oh for gms you're saying oh <laughs> i guess that's fair but you can also deal I guess not. Eh, it's pretty similar amounts of damage with the same ammo count with Apex. Like, dude, Apex is just the greatest rocket that's ever been created. Uh, okay, we have auto loading Vorpal and demo Vorpal. I'm going to actually keep this. I know this sounds stupid, but I'm pretty sure this was a meta roll to have for Nez. Obviously, there's way better kills for Nez, but it proved pretty useful. So I'm going to keep that roll. Um, ascendancy, I, I'll just keep, but what the, f oh, that's my valiant charge. That's pretty dog shit. I like this thing for fun. Zephyr with cold steel. This thing is hot dog shit. Is this a good roll for this, for crown splitter? I'm pretty sure crown splitter is like good. Right? Can it hit like insanely hard but it's only good for first it's craftable what throne cleaver throne cleaver is craftable Hold on, let me double check i'll just double check I've never had a need for it, so I'll just delete it. I think I had it just to troll around on Titan. Uh, okay, so we get rid of these. I don't mind having this caster. We'll just keep it for now, just to troll. We have this caster, which also looks pretty ass. I think we're good. I actually think we're chilling. It's from Defiance. You can get the pattern right now. Okay. You crest bequest crafted, so GG. I mean, this is the goat, dude. This thing is so good. As long as you can control ads in Crota, it's so good. 
Ball cleaning Jover. Now we'll do some armor. We will definitely do some armor. I don't think I have any Ingrams here. War table? Are you sure it's war table? Because I have all those. Where do you... Do you have to do this? I don't have 99 probably because I... I just picked up... It's because I delete them when I do bounty preps. But I'm pretty sure you need... What even is it, dude? It's such a stupid design, in my opinion, but you need, like, this shit to be able to get them. So I just picked it up again. And I even have some of them still, like, not even equipped. It's just, it's such a stupid system, bro. I don't want to waste... This, this should just not be connected to this. Have to be on Titan for it to drop. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I don't have Imperial Decree either. Alright. We can do that later. What's the best edge for a quest? Oh, dude. You're asking the wrong person. What do I have on mine? <laughs> I've jagged for impact. Minus four ammo. I feel like it's pretty hard to run out of ammo with this thing. So I'd imagine if jagged gives you the most impact, it's probably the best, but I also don't know why I have Swordmaster Guard. This is probably not even what you want. Charge rate does not matter because you shouldn't be charging it. Most kills I have on a weapon is probably 67k on... Uh, we were just checking it earlier. It should be 67k on Forb. I don't think anything has higher than that. There's no reason anything should have higher than that. That would be insane if it did. What's good, Ray? Content droughts, getting him to clean the vault. This is kind of true. Recluse higher, maybe? Oh, that's a good... I doubt it. Recluse, if I had to guess, 30k? It's easy. It's easy. Oh, wait, you guys can't even see. It's easy. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't really play quite as much with Recluse. I mean, I played a lot because, I mean, 36k is, is still a lot of kills. Um, But... <laughs> Do Recluse going to go hard? We'll see, dude. Honestly, it depends what perks they give it because I, I don't see it taking over Funnel Web. It, they're the same weapon. Borderline the same weapon. Other than the fact that you can have like some cool ornaments, I don't see a world where it's going to be better than Funnel Web unless they give it Master of Arms, and then it just depends on how good that is. I think I think Recluse is coming back, though. Yeah. Recluse will never replace my hero's burden. That's that's a ban worthy chat. That's crazy. Um yeah, I, I just didn't play the game as much back then. Like, I, I played a good bit, and I played a lot, but, like, I wasn't doing it full-time type thing. No way they bring back Mountaintop? I don't think they bring Mountaintop back. I could be wrong. We'll see. Sunshot? This is probably 30 as well. Oops. What just happened? This is probably a newer Sunshot, if I had to guess. The old primary is the new meta for the upcoming wave mode, right? Yeah, 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 Caleb. Yeah, for sure. Ice is just being toxic. He's he's trying to he's trying to shut you up so you don't actually leak strats. <laughs> is bait and switch reconstruction apex still best for GPS or GLs out doing it now? Based on the testing I've seen and I've done, I think GLs are, I think they're pretty comparable. I think you're never going to beat Rockets for pure burst DPS, but in most cases, you're not doing pure burst DPS. So I think you can go either way. 
Um, and there's other factors of like, if you miss a GL or two, not the end of the world. If you miss a rocket, it's going to be a lot more, uh, what's it called? A lot bigger of an impact. You also need somebody on wolf packs to make them good. They're only going to be good in a six man setting. So GLs are definitely going to be good anytime you have less than six people and stuff like that. So there's a lot of factors, but I would say the game's leaning towards GLs now. Uh, okay. Let's see. I think we take it one row at a time. Do all helmets. Why do I have two plate rain, dude? I don't I don't know why I do some of the things that I do. Mobility and discipline. Alright, this is a mid-roll, so we get rid of you. Put my raid armor back. Get rid of you. Knucklehead's good now, right? Knucklehead's good. Foe Tracer's mid, I'm pretty sure, but we can get rid of both of these. Um, and then this Knucklehead, I think, is pretty bad compared to this Knucklehead. How do you spell... Necrograptic Grips? What the fuck? That's not how you spell it at all. Uh, all right. That's good. I don't know if we need to keep the mask. But whatever. These back wrist rolls. Both pretty bad. And I don't really use back wrists. Uh, is this raid armor? What is this? Cowl of Righteousness. That's Goss armor, yeah. What the fuck is this? Just a good spread? Yeah. Resil discipline. Uh, I'm gonna keep this just because it's a good random ass armor piece. Yo, Mark, they really gifted a silver. I'll give you a good spread. That's crazy. What? Oh. <coughs> Rip last wish armor. Now we still have them, right? I still have a piece. Yeah, we're good. Um, all right. Nah, we'll just go through and we'll probably go through and do hunter armor all at once. Uh, that's raid armor. That's raid armor. That's good. That's good. That's good. Do I keep Moth Keepers and Calibans? What is my current Caliban's hand? Caliban. Uh, yeah, this guy. Rezil Strength. Probably get rid of this. Keep this. Moth Keepers. Discipline Mobility. Dude, it's so hard picking good like stat spreads. We'll just we'll keep these. I have so many sealed aham cards. Okay, that looks like dog shit. Anyway, you just hit me with a 2.5 minute sub. You mean 2.5 minutes of ads? If I could hit you with eight minutes of ads, I would. Fuck are these? Let 
I'm gonna pull a U and leave the stream next time it happens. What does that mean, leave the stream? G loving the streams, keep up the good work. Always nice to watch after work. Yeah, Spencer, much appreciated. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You hit us with eight minutes of ads, I'm unfollowing. Nah, I don't mean everybody. I mean fucking XC Frosty X. That's who. We should make a channel point reward to time somebody out. ADP has it and it's epic. Yep, yeah, then I have to tab over and do it each time. All right, what all did I just delete? Because some shit got fucked. Don't worry, guys, I've arrived. Let's get Dan. He has it automated. Oh. Okay. I'll send a DM. I'll tell him to help me get it set up. I, if, why does, dude, why is this not refreshing? I feel like I know what he's, his response is going to be. It's going to be like, uh, I don't know. Somebody help me set that up. I feel like that's going to be his response. That seems like an ATP thing to say. These are both pretty bad. I tend not to really like mobility for Hunter Armor, so, um, I try and keep one of each. Dude, that is juiced with fucking... I don't know if you guys can see him. That is juiced with... It's stats. Fuck, dude. Should I move my cam? We'll just do this. This is better. Better viewing experience, probably. <laughs> look at the... Uh... Look at the reason on this shit, dude. I don't think I ever need that much Rezo, so I'm going to get rid of it. This is a better spread, but holy fuck. All right, we have no more repeats. Raid armor, raid armor, raid armor. This should be Goss. What do I have here? Rezo recovery this. Fuck it. We'll just get rid of all this. No point hoarding. Oops. That needs to be saved. That needs to be saved. That needs to be saved. Cool. Uh, Mandathorian, Zachary, Travi, SND, and Spider Uko. Thank you guys for the follows. Blue armor piece? Do I have one? Ah, uh, no, I, I definitely don't. It's probably just an ornament. Goss, yeah. Yeah, see, this is blue. <laughs> okay, we get rid of these two. And we're good on this. Holy dude, this is, I've been doing this for two hours, man. This shit takes forever. Um, Alright. I have a lot more arms than anything else, so that's good. Dude, do your fucking balls ever just hurt? Anyone else, dude? Holy shit. Oh, yeah, dude. It's bad. After I leave stream, they do. Testicular cancer moment. Dude, the worst I've ever been hit in the balls. Uh, actually, I'm trying to think. I want to say it was playing soccer. I remember, I remember vividly one kid on my team, his name was Cole. He, dude, he got hit square in his nuts and, uh, he just went down and like limped off the field. I don't, I remember which field we were at. Like I remember the high school turf that we were playing on and cause I, I watched it on the sideline and I'm trying to think because I know I felt the exact same pain and I want to say it was from soccer, but it was it was the worst thing. I, like, it was like getting hit so hard, you immediately wanted to throw up. I Like, I've never felt like it's not even a it's not even a pain pain thing. It's just like a. Uh, uh, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a weird sickness feeling. Is that unavoidable discomfort? 
nausea. Yeah, it's so weird, dude. It's so weird. Uh, this, I feel like the answer nowadays has to be Messi, but I, I was more of a Ronaldo fan back in the day than Messi. I was a big Real Madrid fan. Alright, we'll get rid of this. This is Crota armor. What just happened? Okay. I don't know why I have two Omnis. I'm just going to keep both. Because one has high rezil. In case I ever need it. Uh, so I have one 6 Coyote. One Dragon Shadow. I have three Omni. Dude, what am I doing? Mob rezil Discipline. That's Mob rezil Discipline as well. But I feel like this one's better for discipline that's 20 base rezil that's well that's 12 base rezil all right yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of this one and then all these guys i don't think any of these these the stat spreads are all okay that's a mid one that's a oh, that's a mob one do i keep this i'm gonna keep this one in case I ever need a mobility build, a mobility build set up. What about the three sixteen hundred duality pieces? Yeah, they, so the way that I do artifice harming is I just keep anything. Like for the three stat, I'm almost always just going rezil and discipline, and then recov as like a third stat for most classes, even hunter. Hunter sometimes you want the mobility, but I I can't actually think of any build where I'd rather have mob than recov for hunters. Because most of the time your dodge is infinite or it comes back really quickly. The high school soccer to Destiny pipeline is crazy. Is it? Is it actually? Like, do a lot of people that play D2 play high school soccer? You probably just notice it more. I, I do miss. P people say that it's cringe to feel like high school were the glory days. I definitely don't feel like that. But, uh, dude, I, I miss high school soccer. I miss... Hanging out with friends, doing that. Like being in high school, having no care in the world, no worries, few responsibilities. Like obviously if you peaked in high school, I guess it's it's terrible, but like I don't know. In a sense, life is peak when you're young. I have so many lucky pants. Okay. Um those are my actual things. Oops. What are these? What is the sp spread on this? That's pretty neutral. That's neutral, so we'll get rid of it. That's mob disc, so we'll get rid of it. We'll keep the speed loaders. Do I want these stompies? Oh, that's a high mob stompy set. I'll just keep them. Um, we have so many Orpheus pairs. I feel like my Orpheus rigs are actually really bad too. Mob result this. Yeah, that's okay. Wait, where's the mob result? Okay, yeah. We get rid of this pair, but I think we keep this for the higher rezo, which is why I kept it in the first place. Makes sense. So that's raid, 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 raid. Non-raid armor. Cool. What position do you play in soccer? I played center mid. Very fun. Favorite position. I mean, I feel like most people play their favorite position too, but... Always my favorite. CDM. Usually usually CAM if I had a preference. But you'd always get a preference, so. That's non-artifice. Um I wanna say these are artifice. Oh, that's Goss armor. Discipline Rezo. We'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. You def got the CM build? Yeah, definitely not a defender build. I was not big. Dude, truth be told, like I'm I'm six foot now. I don't know what I weigh. Um 
probably around the range of 160, which is honestly not even that much for for six foot. Um, but dude, high school, I didn't. I, I was like, f I was probably five, like seven, maybe five eight max until I was, I want to say, sixteen. And I was sixteen the summer before junior year, so it was bad. What about the Solar Hunter builds with healing maids? Imagine you can drop recovery from ability. So you you would say that, but the the main thing though, like every hunter build ever, you're running Ember of Singeing. This is three hundred percent increased regen to your class ability whenever you apply Scorch. You're almost always applying Scorch like constantly. So two melees are gonna fully build your class ability, um. Unless you're using Acrobats dodge, which you should never really be using Acrobats unless you have a very specific reason. I've used it like once, um. But Marksman and Gamblers are gonna come back super quick. So these will both come back in one in two knife tricks or if you're near somebody and you also have ember benevolence this is 400 percent on top of the 300 percent regen to your class ability so i don't know exactly how that scales i don't think it's just 700 percent. i think it, it'd be multiplicative could be wrong but that is so then you could do one knife and if you scorch and then apply radiant to a teammate you can get it back in like three seconds it's fucking crazy but so there's no real reason to ever have high mob it's, you're just never gonna you're never gonna have that effect like come in clutch or come in useful really uh all right uh i don't know what the fuck this is uh that's crota that's ron some of these are just empty filler guys all right we should be good we're good on hunter Sweet. Oh, there's still weapons in my direct inventory, I think. Oh, wait, no. Actually, is there? Did I clear them all? No. We're good. Sorry, super random question. Do the oracles and the Templar encounter appear in the same place in the same order every time you run the raid, getting ready to take a noob? Yeah, a couple people answered it, but sticky to the answers no. Yeah. Rose cleaning his vault for an hour? It's been two hours. We'll probably finish in three. Honestly, uh, Nuck, also, thank you for the three months. What's good? <laughs> um, all right, we'll run back to the helm real quick. I have the same question. Oh, what is it? I don't know if you can get multiple perks on trials weapons if you reset your rank. I would not know that. With Luna's Howl coming back, does anyone think that Mountaintop has a chance of returning, or is it Copium? I mean, I could definitely see Mountaintop returning. I don't think it'll come back, because I haven't... I think the leaks have been very specific with what they support, and there was, like, one fake thread that exists. But I also don't know what Mountaintop would, like, offer. Like, if, if they brought it back, I feel like it would just be, like, any other random breach-loading GL. Because they're definitely not going to make it what it once was. Running the video for you to watch now. Still got some work to do, but holy fuck, everyone's gonna piss laughing. Dude, I'm I'm excited to see it. Um let me know if if it'll be possible to upload tomorrow, like seven. Otherwise we could always delay till like Saturday or or another time. Um I also am not fully opposed to changing the date for obviously when we had like weekly vids and stuff, it, it wasn't the end of the world because seven EST I think worked and it was good flow. Um, but especially if I'm getting recordings to you later, just depending on the day of the week we do the challenge and stuff, I'm not opposed to uploading like a day later, a day early or whatever, or even really sticking to a schedule that much. I, I genuinely don't know how many people actually like are looking out every Friday for the videos. So my Russell's fun, but I can't see myself picking it over a damage perk. Yeah. The only, the only time people did that was cause like the, when it came out, I want to say this used to out damage the fuck out of like everything else in class for whatever reason. Um, and it was like auto loading and other stuff. So it was just like so good, but yeah, it's now it's completely different. <laughs> All right. Uh, what the fuck? I I'm really just trying to delete duplicates, which it doesn't look like I have too many duplicates. We get rid of this crest of alpha lupi. These are better stats. 
All right, so most of the shit that I need to get rid of is in my inventory. That's good to keep. I want better stats. I could probably keep. I could probably get rid of those, but. Trying to get down to as low as we can. I don't. There's not a goal in mind. Uh, we, I keep extra chest pieces. I think most people do that. I think our armor is good, dude. Like I don't. I don't think there's that big of an issue with all that armor. We're down to four eleven, which is actually pretty good. Lock, we have a lot to clear, too. I'd imagine. Yeah, let's get Trav. Yo, thank you for the raid. How was, uh, how was stream? Do I like Travis Scott? Uh, I don't particularly like anything. Like, nothing comes to mind about his music, but I'm sure I'd like his songs. I just, I don't know. I don't really listen to music that much. There's no song that I can think of off the top of my head that I'm like, oh, this is fucking great. We grew up in the same city. Wait, wait, what is this for? You and Travis Scott? I love Mountaintop. Bring it back the exact same way it was. Maybe even a slight buff, but offset it by being an exotic. I'm not opposed to that, dude. I'm not opposed to that at all. Yeah, Travis Scott. Is this actually true? What city did you grow up in? Uh, all right. Let me uh start by getting a lot of armor offset here. Is this Vogue? Why do I have Hezen Lord armor, dude? What the fuck? Interesting. From Houston? Dude, I feel like Texas is the place to be. Alright. Dawn Chorus. That's Reek of Discipline. No Rezil. Okay, that's also the same boat. Um, keep all these guys. Do I have any other duplicates? I have duplicate Ron armor. We'll just get rid of this. I don't need it infused, really. That's all raid armor, so I'm happy with keeping that shit. Um, I have three claws of Ahamkara for zero reason. This roll, this roll's gone. Hold on, let me just do helmets right now. Okay, put that away, put that away, put that away. These two are getting deleted. Running anything tonight, G? I don't think so, dude. I, this is taking way longer than I figured it would. So, which I'm not against, but, you know. I don't, I don't know if we'll actually end up getting to anything. Uh, why do I have this? Oh, wait, wait. Okay, that's my... Okay, yeah, whatever. We'll just get rid of these. They're basically the same roll as my normal ones now. Okay. Um... Anything else duplicate? These. And I don't need Balador's Wrath Weavers because that exotic is dog shit now. Cool. I was playing game it earlier and trying to get... Oh, tr to try and work on Malph and I got two mementos. Wait, that's actually massive. I wish game it mementos were less ass to get because... Um... What's it called? They look, in my opinion, they're the best looking. Other than maybe like the blackout one, I think they're the best looking. Um, okay, that's the masterwork. So we'll get rid of that. It's DSC. Are these actually levy? No, there's no way these are actual levies. No. What is this though? Goss. Okay, well that. These have been. Ah, whatever. Uh, all right, so that's good. 
delete these. I think we get sub 400, bro. If we're not already. Never mind. Never mind. I thought we were at 411 a second ago. I don't know what happened. Oh, dude, my fucking... All right, give me a second, bro. Holy shit. Are my pants, like, too tight? This is actually crazy. Ah, uh, Frog. Thank you for the tier one slash prime. Dude, this is when I need the standing desk to work. Oh. Going to the tower. Dude, recently my tower load times have been forever. G, when did you clear acquisition, by the way? Two hours in a stream last night. I want to say that was the time. I don't need all these chess pieces, but it doesn't look like I have that many repeats. Are those better T-steps? Mob Reek of Discipline. No Rezal, though. We'll keep them because they're a good speed exotic. That shit's gone. That's not even a good roll, so that's gone. That's gone. Is this actual DSC? Is this DSC? Legacy Oath? Is that what that is? Yeah. All right. I think we're good. I think the vault cleaning is done with these three. <laughs> Flexi spot, E7, and put your own top on it. Standing desk. Flexi spot. It sounds real. I have one now. I say I need one because this one's motor bro, like breaks. I don't. I don't know how expensive that one is. I want to kind of get a Mojo desk because I know that's a good brand. Um, they're expensive, but I think that's good because I, I want it to just be beefy, dude. I also wouldn't mind a little bit more real estate. Thanks for thanks to Dado for helping clean for real. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Yeah, shout out to Dado for the help. Um, what was I gonna say this isn't bad. This is like. I don't know like this wide uh, what i don't know what i'm doing trying to show whatever it's like five feet by two and a half or something it's good i wouldn't mind it being an l shape for a bit more stability because when you stand any standing desk it's just gonna be a bit shaky um if it's just on two legs and then i want like a good motor the motor in this thing's broken twice i've replaced it twice it, it just sucks I think it holds up with 350. Got three monitors, two PCs attached. Yeah, it should be good. It just depends on if your motor breaks. Like, how long have you had it? it? Really just depends on if the motor is going to last or not. I had a buddy who just got one for like 150. And he was telling me I, I should get one. And I'm like, yeah, like I have one. It's just, you know, I think they just come with shitty motors. It could be the brand that I have too. I don't know. But like, the most important thing is easily going to be the motor lasting. And this thing's just, they just have faulty motors. Only a couple months. Let me know if it lasts for more than a year. This, I want to say, first motor lasted a year or six months. Second motor lasted like half that. And then the third one like just was like a, a couple months. It was awful. Put a weed whacker motor in it. Yeah? Why is your YouTube name Jizz Sock? What, dude? What is happening right now? What the fuck? How did you get that? Dude. This is the time right now where I wish that I had YouTube, YouTube chat names on screen. Jizz Sock is crazy. Gee, which day ones do you have? I have them all, I think. I miss us. Ah, uh, Everyone that I've done... Sorry, when I said all. Everyone that I've done, I've gotten the emblem. So it's DSC, Vog, Val. What was after Val? Kingsfall? Lightfall? Or Ron? And then... Dude, I'm blanking. Crota. We have them all. Val, I didn't get a day one clear of though. Just challenge. Our team kind of quit out around like the 14 hour mark. Even though we were on boss, like we were, we were chilling. We should have gotten a decent placement. Nothing crazy, but yeah. One emblem so bad, Ron's mid. They're, every single emblem I have is terrible, dude. They're they're all bad. Let me see. Where's uh? Are they in raids? 
Not, okay, I say all bad, but... Is this day one? Yeah, day one Ron. Hideous. Day one Kingsfall, my favorite one. But still nothing crazy, but I think this is honestly one of the cleanest looking ones. That's disgusting. That's day one Val. Day one DSC is decent. It's just a little too purple, and I don't like the dark, dark shade, like the rich, like royal looking purple. I really like Vog. This is Vog day one. It's just a little bit too generic. There's another emblem that looks like, oh, it's right there. It's this. This looks identical to Vog. And honestly, even maybe like a little, actually, no, this is definitely cleaner, but this looks similar to Vog, so just kind of sucks. I like Val. I don't really like it. I don't know. I paid $500 for a day one Val recov. That's insane, bro. Day one Kingfall, the cleanest? 100%. Yeah. It's the cleanest of the recent ones we've gotten, which kind of grinds. Dude, if this was day one Ron, no, sorry, if this was day one Val, it would have been so much better. They always make the better looking, not always, but they typically make the better. Like, this is a better looking emblem than this. That's the day one. That's the generic clear. <laughs> I think this is day one Crota. I think this is day one. This one looks better, and I'm pretty sure this is the generic one. It kind of sucks. Let's get silver. Always rocked Solo Flawless Ghost since I got it. I don't have any of the Solo Flawless. Is this Solo Flawless Ghosts? I want to say that's that's probably Warlords, Ghosts, Spire, Duality, Goa. I have some of them. I thought I had some of them. Oh, yeah, duh, this one. And then Shattered Throne just doesn't exist, I think. Yeah. Regular King Fall is nicer than day one, in my opinion. This one? I guess it depends how you like the art style. To me, I, I would disagree, but that's fair. I just really like the um, the black, like, blight thing coming off of it with the glow. It, to me, it just looks clean. Do I have that on Hunter? I don't. What am I doing? I'll just pull it. Uh, I just love the way it looks. Ow, what the fuck? Fog generic is shit. It's generic, but I think it looks clean. Like, I, I'd rather something generic than clean. Like, I some people say they don't like it, but I like how these little things stick down. I like the way it just looks. Just clean, dark, glowy. Looks crisp up here. I don't know. Day one DSC personal favorite because it was my first Rock the Solo Prof and Niobe Labs emblems on my Warlock and Titan. I don't have those, I don't think. Oh, Solo Prophecy looks good too. I've never done that. Solo Flaw. Wish we had exotic animated emblems. Dude. It's funny because I think Bungie could have... Like, if you look at a game like Valorant, they make so much money, it's it's unbelievable. Um, And they make it because they just capitalize on transmog really well. Not that Bungie doesn't, but I think there's... Where is the store? I think the store, it's, there's just too much shit going on, you know? And some of the stuff just doesn't always look clean or unique enough. Also, it's not a game where you can really capitalize as much on weapon skins, which are definitely a leading, like, selling point. But yeah, dude, they, they could have definitely prioritized making really, really good shaders because people go crazy for shaders, and they could have prioritized emblems and then just made it so they don't sell for Bright Dust ever, which I think is perfectly fine. And people would buy them. Also can't buy everything at any given time. Yeah. I mean, that's how most stores work, but I don't know. It'd just be nice if they had more funding via Transmog and they had a better system. I think any game that comes out now that's like live service and wants to last, I think... Or not live service. Live service might be the wrong term, but wants to like last. Obviously, multiplayer is a bit different because you just make weapon skins constantly, but their, their goal... From their like business model should be or monetization model is probably a better term should be to to really nail the transmog day one dsc is better than generic though i don't mind day one dsc I, I used to rock that a lot on my hunter i think it's clean to a certain level it's that it's better than like you said generic and just like you know dumb i just wish it was like a clean a slightly cleaner purple like a lavender goes hard we're missing Totem Challenge for Day 1 King's Fall. You're missing it? It just didn't register? What about Useless Ghost Protections? 
Yeah, dude. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with them existing in the game, but, like, you're not wrong. Like, yeah, some of this shit's just dumb. Like, what the fuck? I didn't... To be fair, I, I forgot these even existed. Like, that looks pretty clean. Holy shit. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They could have really focused on some better stuff. I think their model for the game just changed too much over time. This game's so burnt out to me now. Not gonna lie. Yeah, it's uh, it's an easy game to get burnt out on. You have to make your own fun. Set goals. Go for challenges, I think, to, to make it consistently fun. <coughs> Dude, uh, okay. To be fair, the reason my Rezal is crazy is... I'll usually run, like, solar other builds. Like, I think... Yeah, here's a good example. Nighthawk good? Yeah. Uh, my my stats aren't perfect right now because I because of other stuff. But typically, I'll go from, like, Celestial, do this, go to Stasis, and then... I don't even know what fragments I have because these have to give... Yeah, that's 10 Rezil for Impetus. I, there's just no way, dude. I, I'm ne I haven't changed this in so long because I've never played Stasis other than to use Shattered Dive in so long. And... It just gets cranked. Black skull one looks pretty nice. Use it. Mass, what is this for? Black skull? Is this day one va uh Is this an emblem? Is that what you're saying? Hope Sony takes over and cuts the nuts off the exec team and lets the devs cook. Yeah, I don't know how accurate that uh, that thing is. I myself got a little debated by it. I don't. I mean, Azure Cross made a full video on it, so I don't. I don't know what his take on. I didn't watch it per se, but I, I wonder what his take on it is. Whether he thinks it's valid or not, like legitimate. I don't know if he explained it in that video, but um. I'd imagine Sony's going to do something eventually, though. Like, I, I don't know if that's an accurate email, and that's exactly how it's going to go down, if they're they're short on their, their margins or their, uh, I forget the, the right term, their projected sales for the DLC. But I really wouldn't mind it. Like, if Sony took over, I doubt they would change up the development team too much, and they'd really just get rid of a lot of executives, which would be kind of pretty good. I don't know. I don't know their entire workflow, but I'd imagine most of the reason the game's pretty shit is because of the people making decisions, not the people who are actually like talented grinding out a workday in the engine or in fucking Blender or whatever else they use to put models and other shit in the game. I think it's just the people that decide. Like even like I, I have issues with the new activity that just came out and uh all that's just a decision making process. It's not like anything that you look at looks bad. It's just you're like, why did they decide to do this? Why did they decide to do that? Probably took more resources than anything. So, I don't know. Sony's going to mangle D2, you think? I don't know how Sony works, but uh, I'm not, I'm just not somebody who really follows dev studios too much. Some people are obsessed with it. Um, I've never really cared that much. I just play a game to play it. But from the recent games they put out, which is typically like the Spider-Man games, they look pretty fucking good, no? Just needs to be changed. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Uh, oh, shell projection, black skull. What? Let me see. Oh, this shit or this shit? Ew, what the fuck is... Dude, that's crazy. This one looks kind of clean. I kind of like the purple though because it, it perfectly matches the... Almost perfectly matches the ghost. First one. Yeah, this one looks cleaner. If it wasn't... I don't know if it's an issue with the shade. No. If this came white and black, I'd run it. I don't know why it's like this weird purple-blue periwinkle-ass color. As a person who works on 9 to 5 making mid-products for corporate companies, it's definitely not the talented devs making the calls here. I'm well aware. Yeah, I know it's definitely not the, the, the devs making calls, but... <laughs> but that's why I'm saying. Like, I don't... If you look at anything in the game, like, it just doesn't look bad, dude. Load up any raid, it looks sick. Look at any weapon, it looks sick. A lot of the systems in the game can be 
faulty here and there, but I feel like that just comes down to their workflow and what ranks in the priority list, which is probably from team leads, which comes directly from execs or, or those designing the game and shit. But yeah, I don't know. Everything they make looks sick, functions decently well. There's obviously bugs and shit, but that's probably just from a lack of QA and, and other things. But the, the decisions they make are just, like, kind of terrible. House potential will be so much better. Yeah, it's it's all decision-making, I think. Uh, somebody asked, do you think they're going to old... Oh, I think the old D2 raids will ever come back. I miss Levy. I actually don't know. I want to say... I want to say no. Because I don't think they're planning to put anything reprised out in episodes. As of right now, I'd imagine they would call that a reprisal or a reprise raid if they added it back. Um, and I also think the game space is just not going to support it. Plus they'd have to, I think they said something changed with the engine in beyond light. So they'd have to go through the process of, I don't know if porting is the right term, but adding them to the new updated engine or something like that. I believe that was why they couldn't just add it. So I don't know. Cut the chatter and get the pumping, huh? I think we're going to end stream in a minute here, dude. I have nothing else planned, bro. I have nothing else planned for tonight. It was either this or bounty prep. And then I realized I needed to clean my vault. So. How much delay should you have in your inputs when skating while not near the ledge? It depends on the, the distance. It's a feel thing. That's all it is. I'm coming for Goss. Which run? All of them? I mean, I've heard Six Man's already been beaten, just not uploaded. Which is to be expected. I don't think our Six Man time was that, like, crazy. Like, it definitely wasn't a defendable, defendable time. As soon as, like, a new strat comes out in Six Man, it's, it's your run's gonna get beaten. I don't see our trio getting beaten with ease, unless some major strat comes out, though. Our trio time is pretty optimized. Pretty good run. Um, I don't know which sword I have. If you're skating from a ledge for far back, like here, you can really delay it. That was like one, two, three type pace. Like it's still quick inputs, but can I skate from back here? Yeah. Basically just get in the habit of delaying it so that you do your, your jump and your shatter dive or your jump and your well input when your feet are like here in the animation. Like you can see it still works there. It's consuming ammo because I'm so deep, but. Your dad takes your PC away, so how are you gonna do that? That's an insane thing to chat. <laughs> do you only play in bangers? The playlist is pretty good. It's hard to hate the playlist. Ever find a consistent way to not use ammo with slammer skating? Yeah, I mean, it's consistent. It it's literally no different than, than th this sword. Because I'm, I'm losing ammo skating with this sword. It just comes down to input speed. And the only time you can do fast inputs is if you're close to the ledge. So you just have to be close to the ledge and do quick inputs like that. That's that's basically it. But you can't do quick inputs if you're, like, I don't know. This far back from the ledge. Like here. It's going to use ammo. Because I'm skating from so deep. How did I not know sniper skating was a thing? Yeah? Actually, I, can you slide skate? I don't think you can slide skate on Hunter. What's April 9th? April 9th is uh, the end of the light launch. So we'll get some new content, new weapons to grind, stuff like that. Even that used ammo, and I was next to the ledge. It's fucking weird. I see the purple callus projection. It's probably because I didn't do levy back in the day much. I probably have 20 or less levy clears. Do I survive this? Oh, yeah. Oh. Did you hit the gritty? In game? 
Dude, they, okay, this is my one gripe with a greedy emote. When I have this thing on, they, they put the arms way too high. Like, that's not where my eyes are. Maybe it's the helmet. Can't really tell. Put it way too high, though. Bro, still using a sparrow? Sparrows are superior, bro. You cannot do any of this on a skimmer. Skimmers are slower and worse. <laughs> if you know Sparrow Tech. If you don't know Sparrow Tech, they're great. April 16th is into the schlong with G. Yeah? Like, dude, see, even that's using ammo. And that's, like, crazy quick inputs. So, I don't know. It's weird. God, dude, I fucking hate when you pull out your Sparrow. And... Dude, where the fuck am I? Okay. And it, your ghost just comes out. How long until my ass comes out, G? Your ass? Shift and boost at the same time on a skimmer, you fly. Shift and boost. You cannot do what I just did. Where's my jump? You can't do any of that on a skimmer. There's no way. They're just... You have 27 levy clears? Oh. Yeah, they're just bad, bro. Have you done galaxy pools before? I have not. I We were actually... I, I might... And if, if I have time tomorrow to look into how to do it, and I can find somebody to do the breach box, who's down to just, like, chill and hang out, see if we can get it. Uh, I might do it. I just don't know how hard it actually is. And I'm not like an actual sparrow wizard. So, we'll see. Oh, fly go really fast. Oh, 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 oh. I think it's better for just driving, but yeah. Armor exotic you think is going to be the best for Hunter in Final Shape? Probably just Celestial, dude. Like, you probably shouldn't need an one for like a, a mid-game build. So Celestial will probably be the best thing to just guarantee as you're getting kills that you always have Goldie ready to go. Knucklehead's probably going to be good just to, to close out that last bit of damage or whatever. Um, depending on the damage phase, like Shards might not be terrible if you can get two supers off, but I'd still think it'd be close to equivalent to getting a single Nighthawk shot off. So yeah, something like those. Lucky Pants is going to be gas. I'm down. I have a vague idea how to do it, but I haven't done it in a long time. Yeah, if you're down, Tanner, we can run it tomorrow. I'm, I'm definitely down for that then. I just... I'm going to have to look at the routing to go, because... It just looks crazy. But yeah, as far as armor goes, I don't know if anything else is going to be that crazy. I would say Celestial and Lucky Pants are like the two top pieces. Froggy has a good video. Yeah, his video is not, like, slipping, though. I don't know if I want to do the whole Strand sword skate bullshit. Can you make me a lucky man and drop your pants? Interesting chat. Interesting chat. Maybe become a Warlock Titan main before Final Shape? I actually might bring in Hunter to the race. I've been playing it more and more. I'm starting to feel way more comfortable on it. More so than lock. And... Yeah, I don't know. Dude. My corpse is going so fucking quick there. Um, Claim next. Thank you for the prime. G gonna win worlds first? Nope. Not even close. We usually get a decent clear. Nothing, nothing top 50. But... Or we haven't gotten top 50 in forever, but. Oh, shit, me. Okay, well, whatever. I'll go ahead over Foe Tracer. Foe Tracer sucks cock. I don't know why people, like, love Foe Tracer. It, it makes no sense to me. All Foe Tracer does is give you surges. Like, that's it. I give you times four. The difference between times four and times three is three percent, and uh, 
you have to use an ability. So you have to waste an ability on something just to get surges, which you're already probably going to have. The only time I could ever see this being useful is if you're doing like Izzy Apex Solar and you can run Kinetic Surges and you can run Solar Surges, in which case it's still probably not even that useful. Like if you look, if you watch anybody play during like a day one race, they're not playing that optimally. Yeah, I doubt anybody would do something like that. Hit perfect Izzy rocket swap rotations and also have that percent of damage like actually be needed. Old foe was better. Old foe was knucklehead, so that's why it was better. But now we have knucklehead, so you might as well just run knucklehead. Do I have a skin actually for knucklehead? Does this have an ornament? Oh, that's sick. I forgot about that. Boat Tracer self reports pretty ass yet. Yeah. Who's my day one team? It's everybody um in like the random and the the zero to hero videos, Tweezy. So it's Rems, Flying, Kirby, Rack, and Huey, and then myself. Was just chilling here and you shut up. Oh wait, who are you, Brandon? Who is what? Minor instant still or no? What role on the ham slam which you got? This just has eager. I it's eager bait. It's not the best role in the world. But it's the only eager role I got, so not bad. It's passable. It has eager. That's all that really matters. Cool. Still having the skate debate? <laughs> no, we're not having the skate debate anymore. I was just trying to slip skate for some reason. You go like so much quicker. I'm trying to get like a good one, but now I'm just dying. Game wouldn't stop giving me bait. How to go for? Oh, keep going for Cold Steel. Yeah, Cold Steel seems like it's the play. Cold Steel or Demo? I think both would be good. Cold Steel over Demo probably. All right, we're done. Fuck this. Ah, uh, noob. Thank you for the follow. You think World's First would be a fair race if they disabled Eager Edge? Ron Race looked like a speedrunner's wet dream. No, I don't think Eager matters. Eager matters. I, I think the sandbox should be balanced so that everything should be enabled and everything should be runnable. Obviously, some things are going to be better than others. That's just how anything's going to work. Um, nah, that the Eager had nothing to do with Ron. It, yeah, Ron, Ron was just a joke of a raid. That's why it was so quick to beat. The bosses had no health, so... You were never punished for mistakes during damage phases. It wasn't tight. You didn't have to worry about gener generating ammo, like any of that shit. It was just free. Um, and then first encounter, absolute joke. Second encounter was a joke. Uh, fourth encounter was like buggy too. Actually, second encounter was buggy and you could soft lock too. Th like fourth encounter, you could just bypass and not need the refuge. Like it just, I don't know. There was too much about that raid that wasn't, properly designed do you have keybinds binded to your mouse yeah i do the the major ones i have three side buttons and middle mouse and some dpis like my one dpi button because i don't switch dpi is to do a finisher middle mouse pressed down is actually my charged melee it sounds weird but i like being able to move my mouse and my player around quickly without having to like press any button for when doing a melee especially when like hammer builds and, and other things were a thing. Um, one of them is the swap to my heavy. Another one is like the console swap. So I'll, I'll press like a side button here and swap between my kinetic and special slot. And then I have one dedicated to heavy just for better swaps and better like movement with eager and stuff. And then one of them is my interact button. So I can like move and revive. Ron equals entry level day one raid. In a sense, I mean, I guess it was good for some of those people, but I don't know. It, it the, the thing that sucks about it is some people probably cleared Ron because it was the easiest day one, but it, it probably wasn't that big of a number. Like, it's not like, let's say 50% of the community goes into a day one and usually 5% clear. I don't think it would have made it so that 20% of people are now clearing Ron. There was obviously a lot of clears, but and maybe I'm wrong, but I still think it would probably only be like 10% then, you know? So I feel like it'd be way, it's just way better in my opinion to, to just leave that as a really hard challenge and, you know, make the, the end game community satisfied and then give people something to chase. 
and then people who end up getting the clear feel good. If you miss the clear, there's always the next one, and you can improve if you really care about getting the clear that much. But if you don't clear that much, if you don't care that much, you won't keep playing. You won't improve, and then you know, it is what it is. Play Trilogy. Uh, I haven't played in a minute, but I do play it here and there. Got charged melee on E, grenaded Q. I have grenade on Q. E is also an interact keybind for me. I could probably change it, but I I don't know. I like being able to press E and the mouse button. For both the 24 hour and 48 hour time, there was a substantial increase in total and percent amount of players who cleared. What was 48 hour? Wait, are all raid races 48 hours now? Why was that 48 hours? The only one that, that was extended was Val. I thought no, or are they all 48 hours now? I honestly forget. Tap the trigger target lock. I have no idea. I think I've seen people going for both though, Doug. They're all 48 hours now. Interesting. Crota was 48, so I think so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, I don't really mind that at all. I feel like if you do have a problem with that, it might be more of a gatekeeping type thing, which I think it's fair to, even if you want to gate, not gatekeep hard activities, but you want them to be exclusive. I think that's fine. Um, cause it makes sense. You, you want to feel like you did something that was, and like have an emblem that was like harder to get, but I just want the races to be hard, dude. Like, I don't know. I want them to be hard. I want them to be mechanically difficult. I don't think we'll ever get one that's like, I don't, I don't even think Final Shape is going to be that great of a raid. I, it, I'm hoping it's at least like an 8 out of 10. Um, but I, I think the difficulty I've learned that I like for day ones is like mechanical difficulty. Makes something hard to figure out. Makes Make sure there's a lot of different pieces and parts moving at the same time. Everybody has to be on their shit. And there, there just like hasn't been a raid like that for years, if ever, really. I don't know. Other games do raids a lot better, I think. Just in terms of the mechanics. Bring back Scourge. I mean, I hope they bring bring all those raids back, but I don't know if they will. People had an issue because one of the races was on a holiday weekend, and people had planned to be away from home, so they made it forty eight hours. Dude, I I remember the one we did we did Kingsfall. We did it with two subs because our buddy Rec had a wedding that day, and they just like was it that was it the first Friday that week or did, was it the second one? I don't remember if it was the, that Friday or the next one. But they just like randomly changed it from Saturdays to Sun uh, to, to Fridays that day, or that that season, and it sucked. Division two style raid in Destiny, yeah, if, dude. If they took a note from the Div two raids, the game would peak. Every raid would be so good. Even even though there's eight players needed for a raid in Div two, and they're way more mechanically involved, people still find a good way to LFG them and shit. Should be a difference between day one and forty eight hour slash weekend clear emblem. Yeah, something like that, or, or even just if people really, really want to show it off and care about that, which some people do, and I think that's completely fine to, to care about. Like, it'd be cool to just show your placement number on your emblem. I think that'd be cool. Be able to toggle it on, toggle it off. World's first gets, like, a crazy gold border. Second gets silver. Bronze gets, like, something else. Top 50 get, like, I don't know, blue. Top 100 get something, and then probably be it. It'd be cool. Believe Bungie when they say the final shape raid will be harder than Spire. Harder than Spire what? Is that what they've said? <laughs> Spire of Stars? I don't even know if Spire of Stars day one was hard. Like, it's, it's comparing it to an old year one raid means nothing, I feel like, because that raid would be a joke now. So, I don't know. Armor set for the next raid, normal version and master version. Oh, two armor sets. Yeah, there's just be, I think armor sets take a lot more work than people realize, so it would just be a lot. Would you play D3 if it came out? I would definitely play. I, I, I'll i probably play any Bungie game that's ever released ever from now on. <laughs> but I, I don't know if I'd ever main another Destiny ge or another Bungie game. If a new Destiny came out and it was actually good, I'd play it. Like any game like that they make, even if I have gripes with the studio, if it's good and I'm having fun, I don't care. I'll play. That's it. Place number is a great idea. Be okay with just one raid emblem if we could do that. No day one emblem, but I could equip day one number 235 on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it'd be cool. It'd be a cool feature. I don't know. 
Uh, snacks, what'd you ask? If you repost the question, I can answer it. Gold, 24 hours, silver, 48, bronze, week one, plat, top 1K, diamond, top 100. Yeah, something like that would be cool, I think. Day one team is creating custom emblems would be sick. Do you have any idea how quick a dick emblem would be made? CSGO allowed people to place custom stickers in different locations on their, their emblems, and people were typing, like, racist shit on their skins, like, two minutes into it. It was awful. Don't like the 48 hour raids. I want to ra I want the race to be difficult so that I'm constantly sweating my balls off and making the race last an extra day makes it so much easier. Yeah, it definitely makes it easier. I don't know. It's just, it depends on how you look at it, I guess. I don't disagree. I like things being as hard as possible, but I think if you use the same logic and it was like, oh, you only have 12 hours, a lot of people would be upset because a hiccup can really set you back. Honestly, the more and more I look at it too, I feel like day one placement really just depends on your team, dude. And the circumstances like i think there's a lot of players i can go that are out there now that are really really good but they probably play on a team that's not crazy or anything and if you're playing with people who just aren't dedicated as much you know somebody might be willing to be like oh hey i gotta fucking dip for an hour and then you're fucked over you know like we had i'm pretty sure it was ice's team back when they were in our clan and they would run they were doing like king's fall and then somebody had to like dip for like two or three hours or something like just out of the blue i don't think they told the team um that they had something planned that day and so then you're just like sitting there so i don't know some people can be weird about that and that would really blow if that happened to your team but not a question just the day one numbers are flawed because i've never seen first clear full team it was individual character clears four people could have ran with the fresh what's good frank i'm good with my friends that i play with are casuals if you ever want to race fuck no best we best we place is 47th for Cordo, we had somebody go afk a bunch probably like a combined two to three hours yeah in some cases if you know that's what you're getting into is what it is people are fine with it but if you're if somebody just randomly drops that shit on you dude it's awful and that's most most people are on those teams so i don't know i'm cool 48 but i wish once you load it into the raid you have 24 hours to get the day one clear having it 48 Gives the option for way more people to run, but the ability to take a break for like 16 hours and come back and still have the clear is crazy. Yeah, that, that would just come down to like, just give two emblems out, dude. 24 and a 48 hour emblem, you know? Run whichever one you want. Bungie would definitely make the 48 emblem one way cooler, but I, I wouldn't be against that. <laughs> like, there's no reason to gatekeep somebody from something if there's not a point to it, but I do think keeping things competitive and having like something to showboat with i think it's a completely valid reason to want something to be more difficult we had a teammate leave early during king's fall runs when things were going well and even that sucks during day one especially rough yeah interesting titan fashion i, I don't mind my titan fashion my hunter one this looks terrible with these boots on i like the lock fashion i need to change the helmet though i'm not a big big fan of the dragon helmet i don't have i don't know if i have anything better though some of the Warlock helmets are just too... I actually don't mind this helmet, but it shades awful with this. Some of them are just too, like... This one actually looks pretty dope. I don't know. That's the same armor set. That one's not terrible. Some of them are just too weird, dude. That one's not bad. Cowboy's not terrible. I just don't have some of the like the good clean ones. How does this look? See, that doesn't even look that good. 30th anniversary sick helmet. I don't know if I have it. Getting up at 3 a.m. to start a raid is not fun. That is my reasonable response for 48 hours. That's a really good point too, dude. That's actually a very, very good point. Yeah, if you're in a bad time zone and you're also... If you're in a bad time zone and you have to work or something else comes up, like, you know, yeah. Day one's going to be June 14th, right? Yeah, pr I think that sounds accurate. I'm, I believe it is also 10 days after, so. Uh, that's, I'm not even in the right 
month? That's May. Wait, is this May? No, this should be June. So, yeah. Why does it not tell me what I'm hovering over? Yeah, it should be the 14th, yeah. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. Like, they'd have to change it from a Friday to a Saturday or extend it a week or something else like that. How should I get top 10%? What do you mean top 10%? Can't do day one raids because I work weekends. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. In some cases, it's just unlucky, but at the same time, I feel like if you really, if people really, really care that much, they can usually take a day off of work, but top 40% like Nightfall. Oh, I think you need a score of like a 250k, something like that. Forty eight hours, people had to work. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if there's a perfect system that they could have to release it so that everybody could compete. I think at the end of the day, I think forty eight hours is fine. Like at the end of the day, if you're given two days and you're still complaining about not being able to get the clear, it's more of like an argument of if you really wanted it or not. Um, because if you really cared that much and you're arguing that you had to work or do something else, you can, I feel like most people, if you're playing video games that much and you care that much in life, you probably are in a financial situation that you could take off a day of school or work and be fine. So still think 24 hours is cooler and gooder. Yeah. I don't disagree with it. I think they could just do two emblems or something like that. EU, you're starting the raid at 6 to 7 p.m., so that's not too bad for the race. However, if you're going blind and don't want to scout, 12 hours, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. shift isn't isn't fun to run. Well, I, I think in... Uh, actually, I don't know the exact time difference between like East Coast and Australia, but it's, I feel like it's close to 12 hours or something like that. So starting at like midnight would be insane, dude. Ah, oh, master chilling. I, I never mind if people recommend other people's content. <clears throat> I feel like most people in the D2 community are chill as fuck. There's like one or two people that I'm like not a fan of out of the probably hundreds I'm aware of and or have met. <laughs> Wilma Fingerdo is an insane Twitch name. That is true. All right. I think we're ending stream for tonight. <clears throat> um... I guess Tanner, you said you're around. So tomorrow, you said 2 to 3 a.m. start in Australia. Okay, that makes sense. So it's more of like a 14, 15 hour difference. Um, what was I going to say? Probably go for the Galaxy Pools tomorrow. I want to say Saturday. We'll probably do more LFG stuff. I'd imagine Sunday we are doing more raid challenges. Unless we change up some of those dates. So we'll, we'll see. Just DM me whenever. Okay, it'll probably be closer to like 9 EST or something like that, Tanner. So I think that's, I want to say that's 7 year time. I think you said your mountain. It's Datto. He doesn't like Datto because he'll nuke the vault. Ah, <laughs> no. Datto's chill. <clears throat> the, honestly, the people that I don't like, the, there's only one person that comes to mind, and it was just like, when I was a smaller content creator, they stole a video from me, and I, I think they just they just act fake. They just act a bit fake online, if that makes sense. They act super nice, but they don't seem very nice. They act very like sweet and innocent and stuff, so I don't know. Just very weird, but... It is what it is. Anyways, peace, peace. Skaro ripped my video. I was just talking about Skaro tonight. That's funny. I mean, to be fair, he does a lot of those emblem videos too and solves a lot of puzzles. So, anyways, peace, peace. Later, later. Take it easy, take it easy. Fuck. <laughs>